ठीक है स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग तो इन्वायरमेंट एज अ मॉड्यूल राइट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू द सिलेबस पार्ट ऑफ इट राइट हमने भी अपेयर लास्ट ईयर एग्जाम जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो लास्ट ईयर दिए थे अच्छा ठीक है फिल्म क्वालिफाइड नो इट वॉज नॉट देयर ओके एनी वेयर एल्स यू हैव डन कोचिंग बिफोर कमिंग टू एस आर आई एस द स्टूडेंट हु हैव डन समाइम्स दस घाट के है ना तो वही चीज़ है कभी यहाँ हो गया यहाँ नहीं हुआ तो वहाँ कहीं हो गया दैट्स वॉट इट्स बेटर टू आज दैट यू नो प्रायर बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इसमें बहुत सारे ऑनलाइन वाले होंगे जो जो मैंने बोले दस घाट के पानी पीने वाले वो लोग होते हैं सो एनी वे यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू द क्लास राइट एंड नाव अड इज यू नो दैट द सब्जेक्ट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इज वेरी डिफरेंट राइट यू पी एस सी डजेंट फॉलो सेट पैटर्न राइट वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू सेट पैटर्न मीन्स इफ अ टॉपिक हैज बिन आज इन वन ईयर एग्जाम नेक्स्ट ईयर समथिंग एल्स विल बी आज राइट इट इज नॉट दैट that one year the same topic will get repeated the next year and it is very obvious why it is very obvious because uh, uh year by year the competition is increasing the level of competition is going higher there and uh, post uh, covid 19 post corona scenario right the more number of people are coming to civil service profession so they need to keep a, a standard they need to maintain a standard there right that's why the question and the nature of the questions are changing every year and environment is one topic which is very dynamic you have to know the syllabus part but again you have to connect with the current aspect whether the hindu paper indian express you know there now the magazine like down to earth magazine pib you have to be very updated with that right the questions uh, can be asked from any of such sources what is the first thing to start with the first very thing is the knowing the syllabus you are aware of the static part right that is always the beginning part of it then comes uh, current affairs right now normally what i found that there is a myth what is the myth there that you read only the current affairs you will be able to solve the question you don't require to go back to the books and it is not the matter of environment as a subject you take any subject by the economy polity governance geography whichever subject you take there current affairs is important no doubt about it nowadays questions are coming from current affairs but in initially you have to build the foundation let's say if you are a beginner first time you are reading a subject you need to study the basic fundamental aspect then comes current affairs right is always the part of every subject is not that i am talking about environment as a subject you take any subject uh, this is what is required for upsc exam right now coming to current affairs kind of thing there the entire market is flooded with current affairs right you take any coaching institute you have current affairs right and um, needless to say their popular coaching institute their materials are there you go to xerox shop you will get that you go to book stall you will get that you be try to do the go to the online you will find it right but my my question is that how better they are able to catch upsc exam the things what you are reading does that question paper ask that kind of a question let's look at last year i asked how many people appeared last year exam 2023 exam right and uh, if you look at the kind of preparation what you have done like if those of you have appeared last year i am very sure you have gone through the syllabus you have read the syllabus you are aware of the topics let's say ecological concept biodiversity climate change pollution all these are topics there so in spite of that uh, you have read at that time you would have gone to current affairs also but you were not able to qualify the exam what could be the reason for that there are two questions are there either you are not you are not very confident what you have studied that's one part of your preparation or second question rise that whatever sources you read no question came from there there's only way out either self or outside either you have not been able to perform well for whatever reason there are many multiple reasons are there you are not able to get properly there right there are many factors are there not one factor or second thing is that 
the material or the courses what you relied right and what you relied blindly that didn't help you to attempt the course and you lost out right or could be both that's what i'm saying that uh, if you look at the current scenario of the way students are preparing this subject right uh, they are uh, happy that and you say look at common source the hindu indian express pib yojana down to earth every institute every current affairs will have the same common sources there is not nothing different so when when questions are being looked from the upsc exam point of view right uh, upsc will always what i said upsc is always going to maintain a standard topics are the same what you are reading that is a, the hindu paper or indian express whatever you reading the sources the topics are there but the way the questions are being asked that is changing right so what is my say is that current affairs whatever you are reading you read that one but at the same time try to look into it's a different dimensions let's say for example i'll give you example suppose there is one of the very important news right now going on the prime minister visit to kajiranga national park right he went for uh, north east arunachal pradesh assam now kajiranga national park he went for safari and all this thing now that is the being a headline now the question is that how much you know about kajiranga is a very very important site do you know about kajiranga's background when it was set up what type of biodiversity what type of flora and fauna that kajiranga is there what type of geographical kind of a landscape kajiranga has got right one common answer when i ask about kajiranga the one reply will come from all of you greater one on rhinoceros kajiranga manas all these are there right but are you aware of other type of species found in kajiranga how much you are aware of the geography of kajiranga do you know it is a ramsar whether it is a ramsar site or not whether it is a wetland or not so you are now asking question what is kajiranga right you are trying to explore the answers by asking questions upsc is not going to ask you that pm narendra modi's visit to the kajiranga headline will not be asked a question question will be linked with environment and it can be any perspective environment i believe is a subject which goes to every area of gs general studies you can connect with history you can connect with society culture economy geography science you can connect with everything so now that question comes at how you are looking into those kind of topics or is it simply that uh, current affair material which gives you just what most of current affairs material do they only take the article and make a summary of that point wise is it sufficient for you to answer the questions in upsc prelims exam see one is that hindu paper or indian express pm's visit to kajiranga or north east certain points are there that just is there but is it sufficient when the question will be asked in upsc exam about kajiranga to answer that that means you have not go, gone beyond the article this is where the content play a very important role if any institute provides you kind of in depth aspect of kajiranga all information about kajiranga is past is present you are looking from every dimensions that means your your area of uh, information becomes broader and if upsc asks from anywhere any question you will be in a position to attempt the question right that's what i am trying to just uh, trying to make because today is the first class so just to give you an idea how to approach the subject and most of you will appear this year exam you are, you don't have much time with you right you, you don't have much time is less than i think 90 days right and it is we started with the 5th of march you are losing the time we have to be very very specific to that you what need to study what need not to be study right that is one part is there again when you read a um, books right material so one is that you have to first go to the theory one in a manner that 
if any question comes in the exam you are in a position to answer it if theoretical question is asked right if any theoretical question is asked you are in a position to answer it and what upsc follow as a pattern it takes the area of questions right and then experiment with the questions like if we if i just uh, tell you 2021 exam just go back and see 2021 prelims exam there are seven to eight questions on ncert based question like which of the following symbiotic relation which of the biogeochemical cycle primarily based on rock right which of the following is a detritivore right there are seven to eight questions directly from the book that means theory part now 2022 no question 2023 again no question so what is one of the big problem i have found with the uh, normal aspirants who are preparing there that uh, they take it that okay this year question has not been asked let's forget it right last two years questions are not being asked let's leave it let's see the those areas where question has been asked last year right now another thing all what the institutes are doing again they look at last year question paper 2023 and based on that they make the content so they are they are again not going beyond the things see if you understand the need of the exam and where upsc is all about and you prepare in that manner you will be able to solve the question but the problem biggest problem comes that whatever you are getting fed they are not up to the mark that's what i said last year what question came will not be repeated and upsc is not going to follow the same pattern of questions and the topics but again what happens when you solve test series question when you read current affairs materials you are fed with the same kind of content which the last year upsc has asked now this year 2024 will be completely new whatever questions will be there totally new will be there it will have nothing to do with the last year now if you look at last year every year you get question on species right what do you upsc asked the question squirrel indian squirrel marsupial another question was which of the following has the uh, they are active after sunset nocturnal no cheetah no tiger no asiatic lion nothing from the current affairs material nothing from current affairs material the one of the biggest problem by staying in this area is that your thought process get blocked you're not able to see beyond because you are seeing the crowd and what they are doing popular study materials reading room library same thing so what you you know something called bystander effect what is bystander effect let's say if you are somewhere in a crowd if let's say another one person does something and if it is repeated by another one you try to believe that that is true you don't see yourself there this is one of the biggest challenge this area has one of the big limitation that whatever 99% of the people are doing same content same material reading room the same thing is there and it is happening every year last year the same thing was there the student failed in the prelims exam right again they are repeating the same thing this year also and after the exam then they will realize that this is the mistake there so what is the way out since the time is limited and uh, we have a 30 hours class around 30 hours class that means uh, till 23rd of this month will be ending the solid syllabus there so in that case what we can do we will go to the theory part but again um, we will also have qep quality enrichment program so i'm i'm going to have three days qep program to connect the current affairs but during the classroom discussion we will also cover the current aspect is not that yes but complete current affairs will be in the qep program the focus of this batch is to get back to the syllabus learning the syllabus and in the context of syllabus learning the current affairs okay, what are the dynamic areas from the syllabus point of view right so those who have already that's what i asked if you have covered coaching earlier if you have read books earlier so that's up to you to revise 
but those who are the beginners those who are the very first time going to appear this year exam this session will be really very very important even for those who are going to be the repeaters there is something called repeaters or seniors right those people also they are part of so you will get to know the things of that right so we will be covering those areas but again in the beginning of the session i have mentioned you what is happening right now right what basically things are going on so you have two months or two and a half months this is the time we have to get back to the main kind of thing and preparation part not the hard mentality what is going around you have to be outside the crowd and then you will be able to see the entire as per upsc and attempt the question let us just uh, to have something the session i have got some slides here g20 you are aware last year india was the host you have also read that south africa or african countries right they become the part of it so g20 as a big summit right pragati maidan right that was the thing there so if you look at g20 why i am bringing g20 the reason is that you know this is the theme one earth one family one future it has a political connotation it has a geopolitical connotation but what is another thing here environment environment if you look at as a subject it has a global regional local that's why upsc questions are at the three levels you find in the prelims exam and the main exam question linked with the global aspect let's say for example climate change summit cop 28 uae right whatever decisions governments are taking whatever initiatives uh, to fight climate change happening at the global level that becomes a part of the question right at the same time it also looks into regional aspect let's say south asia asia what are the environmental issues being faced by south asia or asian continent or africa let's say for example disappearing lakes of africa lake fagobin mali the entire lake disappeared so great lakes of africa those are disappearing that is one of the reason is the desertification now desertification is a global issue but desertification also has ramification at the regional level and when it comes to local level it's a national level belandur lake in bangalore it has been the news belandur lake in bangalore one aspect is the pollution second the lake is shrinking and bangalore you know that is a metro city huge population and all this so what i have given here if you look at the global level you are talking climate change desertification then you are getting to regional level let's say africa or asia what are the problem regarding that and then you are coming down to the india and local level this is where the upsc is picking up topics upsc question setter they are not coaching institute uh, content developers or test series developer they are subject matter experts those are those people who know in and out about everything agar wahi coaching institute ka material utha ke question banane lagte hain to sabke sab ias ban jata hai everybody who qualified to become ias officer so they are now getting to those type of thing there and why why they are asking question because they want those type of civil servants because the future governance administration will be driven through environment environment will be driving factor so that's what they are setting a question of that level so this is what i'm trying to make you in the very first session we are going to cover all those topics but uh, first session is always to give you an idea ki what is your way of preparation where are you going wrong or where are you you are going right do you need to have some kind of correction so what i said here questions in the coming exam again will be three level at the international level whatever challenges are there whether it's a climate change ozone layer or you take any kind of desertification any global challenge you will have question and then at the same time regional and national level like i have given the example belandur lake is there in the news for last 5 to 6 years now my question is that whatever current of a material reading 
go back and see where which material is covered belandur lake what is the coverage there suppose this here question comes from belandur lake are you aware of that lake about the part of it that's the main thing sir right so that is where how you to look from that that's what say like g20 is just a kind of a summit at the global level but it highlights the global issues and global issues are so many and one of the global issue is environment terrorism and other aspect there are other global issues but environment is again the one of the issue there right and since africa become a part of it africa is facing a lot of environmental problems right that comes here so that's one part is there now let's look at another thing here what is this yes how many we come from south india in the class okay which state karnataka yes andhra andhra any idea this is called pulikali 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 is a dance form there is a place in kerala called thrissur thrissur is called cultural capital of kerala and the state festival of kerala is onam fourth day after the onam in thrissur there is a cultural dance form called pulikali which basically means a tiger dance here men not the only men the men they have a troop troop or groups are there different groups are there they paint their bodies you can see all the big cats are there tiger lion panther cheetah leopard they paint themselves and they have a street dance which is called pulikali and this was started right hundreds of years back by the that time when the princely state was there maharaja's time there it was continued after even that now this form of dance is one aspect is the cultural aspect where what you can see in the photograph and second aspect comes what environmental right looking into the environment so whether is the onam or you say pongal or makar sankranti or lohri or whatever cultural festivals are there bihu in assam right all these are connected with the environment particularly with the animals agriculture and all this now what is the thing here you you are all going to appear in the this year exam how the upsc get into the question and from where i have taken the photograph you know even sometimes hindu has a photograph simple photograph with a one sentence written on the bottom this is where the questions form are asked in the exam even a direct question even a simple question can be asked i have given you politically here and now when you talk about big cats big cats have become very important recently what india has started international big cat alliance what has been already existing global tiger forum gtf again the current aspect comes right every current of a material has covered it has a big cat alliance that india seven big cats we have five of them here now with the arable cheetah from africa we have again the part of it so that's what say when you are reading newspaper daily current affairs that become the base last moment compilation you know and trying to do like last minute that doesn't help but i believe the upsc preparation is a long term preparation entire one year theek hai jata student kya karte hai last moment mein bazar se ikattha karenge sara jo jo bhi current affairs ka chal raha hai and since you don't have time at the last moment you only read those kind of thing you don't you are not able to explore why because syllabus very vast current affairs itself is a ocean lot of things are there and then you are in a fixed condition but if out of here in the classroom those of you are following the current daily current affairs regularly from day 
last one year you will have an advantage because if any topic is asked beyond the popular current affairs materials those students will be in a position to answer the question somewhere they have read so that's what to say that this thing i will now i am interacting with you very quite late because generally my point is that uh, i don't um, believe in all this big coaching stuff right uh, i am right now in a very grassroots way going throughout the country teaching the students who are there who really are not able to come to delhi and get the right direction that's what i've been doing for the last one year because they are the people there what is happening now the people who are coming to delhi they are not getting the right kind of thing but i am trying to even now you have a time and in environment around 15 to 16 questions are asked so i am going to cover that so what i have said here pulikali is one of the thing was there where the, you can see here lion tiger whatever and this is linked with the cultural aspect of kerala right here the the kind of a, a performance to make people aware of the importance of animals fauna that becomes a part of now let's look at another one here how many be aware of this planetary boundaries there are nine planetary boundaries and mankind has breached the six of them again where it came the hindu paper sometimes small article may be missed out i have told you, you know all these big coaching students they only focus on what have been asked in the last year exams you please will go beyond there planetary boundaries right now again this was in the news again you know down to earth magazine suppose that if this year exam you get question from here so those who are aware they will be able to solve the question now if you look at here biosphere integrity biodiversity part and what upsc is doing in each of these subject matter upsc is asking question like by by spell climate change again you know is very important topic noble entities i'll give you example plastic microplastic noble entity 20 years back or 30 years back we were not talking about plastic pollution that much but today we are talking too much of plastic pollution and you know our great pacific garbage mid of the ocean thousands of tons of plastic which is the debris scattered there is a noble entity that means normally what pollution we have been talking about air land water i'll give another example light pollution light pollution now again 20 30 years back light as a pollution was not a very big topic but today light pollution has emerged as one of the problem in water problem noble entity now most of the time what you find in current affairs materials delhi smog ho gaya yaar delhi smog ho gaya right abhi bhi delhi ke pichhe pade hue hain wahi smog chal raha kahani the lot of areas in pollution areas lot of new areas are there and upsc will always diversify in such areas right right upsc will always go into such areas but yes you have to know about delhi pollution trouble burning this and that you have to be aware of that but are you aware about the pollution topic in many different ways i've given example plastic i've given example light pollution nuclear listen to you know fukushima the coolant water radioactive coolant water been discharged into pacific fukushima disaster already 13 years have been there 2011 earthquake tsunami japan right is have already been there so there are some noble entities which have not been categorized upsc can ask question then you know ozone layer stratospheric ozone layer so let me ask the question geography what all do you know about ozone layer stratospheric ozone layer batao ozone layer ke bare mein what all things you are aware geography to padha you can tell me about ozone layer what all things you know about ozone layer ultraviolet rays okay ha stratospheric ozone layer i am this what i 
स्टेटोस्फेरिक ओजोन लेयर वट इज द हाइट ऑफ स्टेटोस्फेरिक ओजोन लेयर एट वॉट हाइट दिस ओजोन इज फॉर्म ओके मिड ऑफ द स्टेटोस्फेयर ओके हाउ द ओजोन इज फॉर्म ओजोन दिस ओजोन लेयर राइट There is a Varshi has said 13 to 14, 40 kilometers. There is a tower of ozone layer, ozone molecule. How the ozone is formed? Right. So what I am asking here, what, how? Questions. So when you are talking about stratospheric ozone layer, so do you know about its entire aspect of that? What is what is Dobson unit? What is Dobson unit? Measure the ozone concentration this is what we have studied ozone depletion ozone hole right antarctica ozone hole this is what you cover geography teacher will definitely teach there ozone hole formation over antarctica south pole polar vortex polar stratospheric cloud this all you have covered that that is one part which you are covering how it comes to environment that emission emission of what ods what is ods ozone depleting substances so what are the sources of such substances and you know last year 2023 exam hfc was asked from where hydrofluorocarbons are emitted halogen na halogen containing compounds halons the many things are there where we use that and again you have to be aware from the conservation part of it like you all know that vienna convention montreal protocol but then what comes Kigali agreement. What is Kigali agreement? I mentioned HFC, no? Kigali agreement came to phase out what? Production and consumption of hydrofluorocarbon by 2050, mid of the century. Again, you have to know the agreement, purpose and everything there. That's what I'm saying. Each of the topic, what you see, they are the part of the question. Then now see aerosol, not yet quantified. What is aerosol? Normally, we are talking about particulate matter like PM 2.5, PM 10, right? But now you know that black carbon, soot, unburned carbon, right? So again, they are the aerosol which are floating in the environment. They comes into then acidification of ocean, ocean acidification. What is happening with ocean water? Gradually becoming acidified. Presently, ocean is alkaline. Why ocean alkaline? Salt. But now too much of CO2, ocean getting acidified. So what are the impacts of that? And if you go back previous questions, you will find question asked on ocean acidification, phytoplanktons and all this impact on that. Then biogeochemical flow, nitrogen cycle, phosphorus cycle, carbon cycle, water cycle. UPSC is asking question regularly. And what do you find here? Nitrogen and phosphorus. It has crossed the limit. Too much of nitrogen in the environment. We are using fertilizer, right? Fertilizer and other kind of thing. Phosphorus again, fertilizer. So they are again linked in water issues. Then you can see fresh water change, groundwater depletion, river. All these are the in water issues there. I mentioned Belandu Lake, but if you look at many lakes in India, many of the wetlands, many of the rivers, they are getting polluted. And again, what is another impact? Climate change impact. human development part of it and upsc is asking question last year water development report was asked water development report which even report is there and again if you see here land use change the way our development this part of it. so what is thing here this diagram what you see this is called planetary boundaries there are the nine planetary boundaries and each of the planetary boundary and whatever topics come there they become the part of the question in the exam so again you have to see the one is that you have to know planetary boundary concept second you have to delve into each of the environmental problems we will be covering in the class we will be going to such areas one by one this environment module is very important because i have said that i am going to take you whatever the classes we are going to cover lot of such areas and this is the right time to do it because one year or last 3 4 years current affairs i don't believe only one year Current affairs. Current affairs can be continuous. UPSC even can ask three years back also there. That becomes very important. So that is what you have now. If you look at further this one.
और ओवरशूड डे 2023 इट वाज अगस्त टू एवरी ईयर यू हैव अ डे ओके टू क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट जीके जनरल नॉलेज विच डेट विल बी दिस ईयर 2024 अर्थ ओवरशूड डे एंड सेकंड कॉन्सेप्ट कि व्हाट इज अर्थ ओवरशूड डे दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ इट ना अगेन माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट वर मटेरियल रीडिंग are they covering this kind of topics do the books cover those kind of topics right ye bahut zaruri hai pehla session lene ka yahi reason hai aapko jagana to wake you up aur abhi time hai you can qualify the exam theek hai nahi to environment questions will be there 15 question will be there that's going to be very very important there and every year many of the students were simple questions they can qualify the exam unka reh jata hai to mera question yahi hai ab ab next time jab aap padhe padhoge material jab aap koi bhi current affairs ka material lenge to aap sochoge ki kya ye jo pad rahe wo kitna relevant hai how many questions can be asked from those kind of materials i have said earth overshoot day so what is the concept here anybody in the class yes it is the day is something called bio capacity is the day of the year where the entire mankind has consumed all the resources that earth can provide that year let's say every year earth provides some resources food water whatever raw material we require so that is the day when the entire human civilization has come to consumed all that resources what earth provides that means after that day whatever we are consuming we are basically over exploiting earth ko us saal jitna produce karna tha wo produce ho gaya aur jitne bhi log hain insaan hain unhone use kar liya we are now 8 billion right 8 billion population worldwide if you look at that we are crossing there india ka already 140 crore is there so that has been used theek hai ab kya hai jo uske baad ka aa raha hai so that is a over use of it overshoot means that means our, we are going beyond that like for example last date was august 22 this year july 24th so it is falling one month before obvious reason is that population has grown up right population has grown up consumption demand has increased so more resources will be consumed so day will fall before not ahead but now imagine if we are able to conserve the resources suppose whatever we consume but we are able to conserve it and help earth regenerate then the date will not be behind will be pushing the date ahead that will part of it now every country has got earth overshoot day what about india is there any overshoot day of india now this is the question this is what that would say that You to ask the question. None. India ka koi bhi earth overshoot day nahi hai. Now this is called bariki, the very detailed part which I am saying that. If you look at country profiles worldwide, earth overshoot day, there is a body called Global Footprint Network. They do something called ecological footprint. India usme hai hi. Again, you have to connect whether India is a part or not. i'm just trying to highlight the topics there so this is what comes into that this is called ecological footprint forest carbon crop land and water asher of fisheries all comes so we are consuming more than that what earth can generate there pollution i've said that burning problems whatever pollution you take air water land whatever every year you get questions based on this now what is this again geography बताओ क्या है ये ओके हमने गॉट एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एज ऑप्शन ओके तो व्हेन मैन फर्स्ट टाइम केम ऑन द अर्थ अप्रोक्सिमेटली यू कैन से व्हेन ह्यूमन होमोसेपियंस केम फर्स्ट मैन 
कितने साल पहले वी एज ए स्पीसीज इवॉल्व अरे नहीं यार फोर पॉइंट सिक्स बिलियन दैट इट वॉज जस्ट इन द बिगिनिंग फेज अर्थ वॉज फॉर्म देयर आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट मैन आई एम आस्किंग वेन मैन केम ऑन दिस दिस ऑल यू हैव स्टडी इन जोग्राफी ऑन इपोक एरा पीरियड दिस ऑल यू हैव स्टडी इन जोग्राफी राइट तो वेन मैन केम मैन केम हियर दिस वॉट कम्स हियर होलोसिन Which is the latest one? Eleven thousand seven hundred years. That's the part. If you look at here, this what comes here: Archean, Proterozoic, Cambrian. This is called Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. We are right now Cenozoic, and after that, Pleistocene, Holocene. We came around eleven thousand seven hundred years back. Our ancestors were there. Right, that time mammoth was also there. Then you know. There's something called Great Extinction Period events. Earth has already gone through five times mass extinction. The last extinction, where mammoth and all these species were wiped out, but we survived, right? We survived that time. And if you look at Homo sapiens, we as a man, modern man, sapiens, sapiens, in our genus, what is genus of our Homo? In out of our genus, we are the only surviving species. Our other species have been lost, like Neanderthal, Australopithecus, Denisovan. They were also species. We'll we'll see in today's class species concept there. They got disappeared. We are the only surviving species in our genus. What is genus? Homo. We are the only one. What we call sapiens, right? Sapiens, they are modern man. So now, what is said here? Eleven thousand seven hundred years back, that time when a man evolved. As a species from the primate, we are the primate. Comes from primate there. Now, if you look from that time, but if you look at uh, 200 years back, the modern times, uh, you know, industrial revolution, the kind of the fast human development. What we have done? We have modified the earth. We have changed the earth. Now that is where the problem is there. No? So what is now being talked about? Anthropocene. What I would like to bring this one. Scientists are debating whether we can fix a type of a period where we can say age of the man. Can we can we call it age of the man? Why? Because man as a species has made tremendous changes on the earth. Right? Agriculture. Let's look at agriculture. man was the as a species started doing cultivation of crops human civilization and i am talking about 11000 back harappa civilization was 4000 years back even before that as the man development came all changes were brought and even if you look at last 200 years the rapid development of man has caused lot of changes on the earth right so now scientists debating that whether we can call as anthropocene can we say a new era has started anthropocene where man is man's age is there and if you have, if you are willing to call it a, then what should be the date line date from which year will come will you take a origin of the man 11700 years or we take last 200 years industrial revolution or do we take a last century 20th century now there is another area of a, uh, you know Discussion worldwide, Anthropocene. Most of the people are saying we can fix that date or the year post 1950, 1950. After the use of atomic bomb, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, nuclear weapons. अब ये सब concept है ना? ये सब चीजें untouched हो रहे हैं, right? UPSC question C, UPSC is very smart. UPSC को इनपुट इनपुट पता है क्या चल रहा नहीं चल रहा एंड दैट्स व्हाट नाउ यूपीएससी नेचर ऑफ क्वेश्चन व्हाई इट इज चेंजिंग दैट नाउ दैट्स व्हाट आई से यू हैव टू गो बैक टू द बेसिक्स यू कैन नॉट नेगलेक्ट द बेसिक्स फंडामेंटल कांसेप्ट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड देन कम्स द करंट अफेयर्स राइट एंड ऑल्दो यू नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ टाइम द टॉपर्स हु कम वो भी बोल के चले जाते ये पढ़ लो वो पढ़ लो ये कर लो कर लो राइट तो व्हाट एपन अभी जो आजकल का जो माया जाल चल रहा है यू अंडरस्टैंड माया जाल 
यूट्यूब का ज़माना चल रहा है है ना बड़े बड़े मोटिवेटर्स आ गए हैं बहुत उसके अंधभक्त बने हुए हैं वहाँ पर सब लोग तो उनका ये हाल होने वाला है तो दैट्स वॉट सीन दैट यू ऑल आर वेरी जेन्यून स्टूडेंट यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग सिंसली फॉर द एग्जाम तो वेर एवर द यू नो वी आर लिविंग बिहाइंड जहाँ आपकी कमी है वो मैं हाईलाइट कर रहा हूँ कि वेर यू आर लैकिंग वॉट यू नीड टू डू फर्दर सो दैट यू आर इन अ पोजिशन टू सॉल्व मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम फ्रॉम माई सब्जेक्ट आई डोंट नो अबाउट अदर सब्जेक्ट माई सब्जेक्ट आई एम सिंग लाइक आई गिवन अंधर पर्सन नाउ लेट्स लुक एट यूर वी आर गोइंग टू कवर ऑल थिंग्स देर यू एन यूनाइटेड नेशन वॉट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनाइटेड नेशन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर कन्वेंशन एग्रीमेंट्स कॉप मीटिंग्स What are decisions have been taken? Again, they they are linked with current affairs, and they become the important for that. What is this? Mangrove forest. Eco tone. What is eco tone? Hmm. What is eco tone? Again, the basic concept. What is eco tone? Transition area where or merging of two different types of ecosystems. Now mangrove is one of the example. Now tell me, I ask a very simple question. When you are reading newspaper, current affairs, which all mangrove forests you have come across in news? I mean, question is news. Sundarban is there, okay? All right. Any other place? News may be come, no? Some times photograph is also there. Mangrove forest. News. See, one is that. What is mangrove forest? Why mangrove forest is important? What is the biodiversity of mangrove forest? What is ecotone? These are the concept. Then what is the next task? Get into the current affairs. In which all mang mangrove forest you have read over the last one year, which have been part of the news, geographical location. What are the part of the you have come across there? So again you have to again to part of it. That again and why I am asking that? You know every year. You get question from protected areas, national park, sanctuary, biosphere reserve, tiger reserve, and what UPS is asking question mapping based question. Now mangrove, mangrove could be a question here. We'll cover ecotone is very right. You are very right. Where two types of ecosystems transit or merge, that is ecotone. But again, you have to connect to the geography, mangrove forest. Right? You have to connect with that. I'm say Sundarban. Say when I ask. Many of you gave me the answer, Sundarban. But India is having a rich diversity of mangroves, and throughout east and west coast, and the islands, Andaman Nicobar Islands, and all we have mangrove forest. Abhi news me aaya tha Great Nicobar. Government is having strategic project there, and there the mangrove forest being harmed. Nicobar project. Right, Sundarban is all right. Sundarban, everybody knows. And again, I told you all materials what you read. We'll talk about Sundarbans, but you still go beyond Sundarbans, right? Bitter Kanika, which Bitter Kanika mangroves? Orissa, which part of Orissa? In the Pala district. And why it has come in the news? Nowadays it has come in the news because of one important species. Salt water crocodile, estuarine crocodile, and it was reported in Hindu paper about man and crocodile conflict. What you read in current affairs? Man and animal conflict, elephants. But now I am giving you another story. Cro crocodile, salt water crocodile, more in number, more than nine hundred in numbers. Now that is uh, affecting the people who live around the Bhitar Kanika uh, National Park in Odisha. तो इसका मतलब क्या है कि आपने न्यूज़पेपर को ढंग से नहीं फॉलो किया ये इसका मतलब है राइट इज व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम इज देयर सो देन इट इज डिफिकल्ट वही बता लास्ट मोमेंट थर्टी आवर्स क्लास कैन ओनली गिव यू द बेसिक थिंग देयर बट इन ऑर्ट टू गेट इन टू ऑल दिस वन यू टू अगेन गेट बैक देर and it happens every year i'm telling you this is not a scenario and you will do the same thing the next year also so that is what i'm trying to build up you have to get back to the main part of it if you are not able to do then it's difficult i'm just trying to make you understand
Now tell me about coral reefs. What are coral reefs? Uh, Symbatulation, yes. You are aware of it. Algae and that algae. What algae is there? Zooxanthellae, which lives into the coral. What is a coral? Marine animal, right? Polyps. Within that you have. Now again, coral reef uh, as an ecosystem becomes very important. Marine, marine ecosystem. Again, the conservation part and everything becomes a part of the uh, part of it. But with the biodiversity part. Or a video news me. Great Barrier Reef is the part. But I'll bring another angle. Maldives. Maldives in the news. Right? You know Muzu, who was president, asking the government to withdraw the navy. And with the China part, that is a IR, international relation. But what is Maldives known for? Tourism. What type of tourism? Eco-tourism. People go for atoll, no? What is that called? Atoll? Recently what happened? The Prime Minister went to Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep, again Lakshadweep sea. We have the same kind of island. So now again you see that. The, the news was about, is going on Maldives. Maldives is an issue and the part of Lakshadweep and all these are there. And again, Great Nicobar, I have said, again you have a coral reefs. UPC will get into the ecological aspect. Will connect the environmental part. And based on that, the questions will be asked. That's what I say, when you are looking at any current affairs topic, you have to connect uh, dots. Okay, what is the IR? What is the part of social aspect, economic aspect, strategic defense, science and technology, environmental aspect, where the coral reefs become important. Right, these all things are there. Now, uh, you know that uh, last year, cyclone was there. Which cyclone was there in the news? There were two important cyclones. One is a Mexon. Mexon, that is a, that affected the Chennai, Tamil Nadu coast and all. Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and all this. And there was a, there was a uh, oil spill. And that oil spill affected the Pulikat Lake. Pulikat Lake. And your Pulikat Lake comes into two states. Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Right, it has come there. And if you go to Pulikat Lake, again you'll find mangrove there. Now I'll connect another thing here. Now we have got 80 Ramsar sites. And many of the Ramsar sites have got mangrove forest. Again the 80 Ramsar sites of India. And which of them are the mangrove forest? So again this type of things, they will get into depth part and ask the question. Right? That's what I'm trying to uh, again uh, come across there. So, you know, coral reefs crisis are there. This is called coral bleaching. You are aware of bleaching? What is bleaching happens? When the algae is usually separate. And what is the main reason of that? There are many reasons are there. One is the warming. Second, acidification. Third could be pollution. Change in the salinity of the water. There may be multiple factors. That can be part of it done there. Then let's look at this one. It was in the news, Dugong. Take out the dugong dugong. Again, if you look at Nicobar, Andaman Nicobar, we have dugong species. And what I've written in the on the bracket here? Keystone species. Again, the term keystone species. Why I put across? When you look from 2011 exam, 2011 up till last year, 2013. Again, you have to see which are the topics where UPC has not asked the question. Untouched area. Whichever untouched area, they'll get into that question. And again, I'm repeating the same thing. Many things what you read, that is where the questions have already appeared in the exam. Now, if you look at ecological concept, this is a very important topic, keystone species. And let's say you get one question, simple question. Sometimes questions are simple also there. Diet question in the exam. So are you aware of those kind of concepts or example? Let's say UPC can ask examples also, which are keystone. Options are given, one, two, three, four, right? So again, Dugong, what is keystone species? Their population is less, the less in number, but their function, function have profound impact on the ecosystem. Although they are few in numbers, but the way they perform their function, whether it's a herbivore, carnivore, it may be a plant, the way it performs the function, it has a tremendous impact on the balance of ecosystem. That if they are lost, the entire ecosystem will be lost. 
that's called keystone they are important to maintain the ecological balance in the ecosystem right so dugong is one example now if you see this one invasive species right lantana i have given the photograph here but there are hundreds of such species even india has reported many such species so now this is one of the important area which comes in news frequently invasive alien species and is considered to be threat threat to biodiversity native biodiversity now lantana lantana has spread everywhere even himachal pradesh one can find lantana even in the uttarakhand even it was found in valley of flowers where is valley of flowers uttarakhand there right uh, tamoli and that part so this is the invasive and from where it has come america central america is not a native of india but it is now spread over everywhere now if, if this is one example but you can see all these are invasive all these invasive there gecko house gecko goldfish or tilapia tilapia mina pigeon goldfish this one now this snail giant snail african giant snail right is an invasive species maharashtra and goa it was affected by this particular this i'm just giving few examples but there are many are there there are many such examples are there and there are there are such example which come in the newspaper yeah. even you can get direct question there they can ask you you basically can ask you a direct question in that context there that could be a part of it right this you are all aware where it has been introduced kuno now tell me about kuno what all things you know about kuno वो तो सबको पता है एमपी में अफ्रीका जिला है ठीक है अब तो आपको वही है ना मैंने क्या बताया इतनी देर से मैंने ये बताया कि यू टू गो द जो भी बाकी सबको पता है बट इट वाज नॉट डन राइट ओके कुनो एज अ पार्क इज नियर टू विच प्लेस मतलब उसका जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन मुझे बताओ जैसे एमपी में है उसके आसपास का कौन सा कोई ऐसा सिटी है अर्बन एरिया है कोई डिस्ट्रिक्ट है बता जो एम जो एमपी का रहने वाले दो सो फ्रॉम एमपी कैन टेल मी नो दाई स्टेट नो योर ओन स्टेट खूनों के बारे में पन, पन्ना यू नो यस हाँ पन्ना पन्ना इज ऑल्सो नोन फॉर नेशनल पार्क टाइगर रिजर्व पन्ना इज इन विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट नहीं एमपी नो आई एम आस्किंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई एम नॉट आस्किंग स्टेट आई एम आस्किंग डिस्ट्रिक्ट पन्ना इज डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच इज नियरेस्ट देयर छतरपुर छतरपुर जगह है वहां ठीक है इज वेरी नियर टू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मोन्यूमेंट इज देयर खजुराहो कंदरिया महादेव टेम्पल देर खजुराहो एज आर्किटेक्चर Panna is near to and very adjoining to Panna is the Kuno. Jhansi se from there the road which goes there towards the Khajuraho side. On the way you have one side Palpur, Kuno Palpur. Where the part of and that area again is contiguous with the Chambal. And that's the part of MP, not only MP, UP and Rajasthan. The part of the bigger project of Chita project is that slowly, slowly to bring more Chita. and get into that landscape which will be going to a rajasthan side called mukundra there mukundra hills in near kota that is again the part of the chambal landscape so mera wahi kehna hai what i want to just make you aware ki when you are reading about a project like you know chita project has been in news continuously even supreme court of india has given the order for that your death of the chita cups lot of things have been in the news but now If let's say UPSC has to ask question, the UPSC will again connect the geographical aspect. Geography is one aspect. Another thing comes what? Kuno as a landscape, which all other biodiversity are there. But the Kuno, so one is Chita. There are other which species are there. I'll give you one good example. Sia Ghosh. Sia Ghosh is a kind of a cat, jungle cat, right? 
and it is very endemic to such kind of area mp in that area so ab ye aise cheezon pe they will be developing kehne ka matlab kya hai the question setter there they are the expert they are aware of it so they are looking from the same topic you all are reading cheeta they are taking the cheeta only there but they will be delving into such areas which are connected to cheeta project and now what government has done tourism part now you know safari people can go and see the cheeta now already kuno park has started safari and all this eco tourism aspect of cheeta project there so that is what so again we need to know about what species in news what becomes very important from current affairs to which are species and the news part that becomes very important now coming to almost to the last this what i mentioned kajiranga yesterday it was in the news kajiranga by right, two days back kajiranga national park so which river is there river brahmaputra river is a part of brahmaputra river and what you see here is a swampy grassland is a wetland but is it ramsar site is it ramsar site no which are, which is the ramsar site of state of assam what is ramsar site wetland of international importance ramsar convention dipore bill that is near to kajiranga dipore bill kajiranga national park is not there but dipore bill which again the part of brahmaputra river has been declared as a ramsar site that near to guwahati part you will come across that was the part of the which i mentioned here and then this was recently five new ramsar sites have been declared out of that one of this one longwood sola forest what is sola forest temperate now what is sola actually now temperate or tropical water what is the that forest i have shown the photograph there here where which part you find this one now which which part of the country we have this kind of forest south which part western ghats western ghats of india it is not only the part of kerala kerala you have a place called iduki iduki the part of munnar that part but you also go to nilgiri nilgiri you know nilgiri biosphere is a, that is a part of tamil nadu and karnataka also this particular part comes into that so although it is a temperate forest but it is a part of the western ghat landscape particularly where nilgiri aur ye jo aap dekh rahe ho longwood jo hai this is a uh, urban 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 kind of landscape which has been declared as a ramsar site right it has become declared as a ramsar site theek hai clear yahan tak clear hai sabka are you all aware now the things we are able to understand here so this is where i have done here what i'll do now now we'll be getting to the topics one by one nahi pankha band kar dete fan kahan chale gaya wo fan karne pe to ho jayega nahi fan off kar do fan fan off kar do fan fan awaaz aayegi na it will the sound will be not audible there क्योंकि यहाँ पे माइक का वहां पर हाँ ठीक है नहीं इसको बंद करना है बंद कर दो क्लोज जा रहे स्टॉप करना है ठीक है ऑल राइट एनी वे लेट्स गेट टू द टॉपिक देयर वी नाउ कम टू द टॉपिक वन बाय वन तो आई एल जस्ट क्लोज दिस वन ठीक है तो लेट इज नाउ गो टू द नोट पैड यू तो विल नाउ स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक यूर बट अगेन आई सेट आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ वेरी बेसिक लेवल वेदर यू एक्सेप्ट इट और नॉट करेंट अफेयर्स इज द नेक्स्ट लेवल ठीक है शुरुआत पहले हमेशा फंडामेंटल से होगा ठीक है दैट इज वॉट आई एम ऑल अबाउट दैट आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वेरी फंडामेंटल लेवल एंड देन विल कनेक्ट विद द करेंट अफेयर्स तो करेंट अफेयर्स के लिए फिर क्यूईपी में कवर होगा ठीक है तो लेट इज नाउ गो इन टू द टॉपिक हियर तो टुडे यू हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट द टॉपिक ऑफ बायोडाइवर्सिटी पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद बायोडाइवर्सिटी इकोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट फूड एंड फूड में वैल बी कमिंग लेटर ऑन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दिस टॉपिक ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी राइट so biodiversity let us go into because this is a very relevant topic for the exam and many questions are asked in the exam so as you know that general definition is what study of flora and fauna right this is the one general definition there but uh, biodiversity if you have to define this term 
इज बेसिकली साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ हाउ डू डिफाइन द वेराइटीज ऑफ स्पीसीज वेरिएशन फाउंड इन ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स so what is the main thing is that any kind of diversity or differences which we come across any type of species whether is a plant animal fungi algae we take any kind of thing there even the bacteria although bacteria is a very primitive form of life but again we can consider different varieties there so found in all living organisms right huh? and what what is the main part of it it has a three levels what are three levels here one is that it looks into genetic diversity at the gene level right we'll take certain example genetic diversity here that is the, at the gene level species is same let me see if i write here in the bracket here changes what we notice within species is let's say we take one species and in within that species we find differences right so let's say for example we'll take certain example here for example if you look at india's in terms in terms of leopard we have a common leopard but you are again aware we have a snow leopard himalayan range we have a snow leopard recently again snow leopard has come in the news because of snow leopard this is a part of a again getting endangered Right, endangered species there, but now our government is trying to conserve. And first time we have got census data. Okay, how many snow leopards are found? Right, so seven hundred some numbers have become. Then another thing, what we come across here, clouded leopard. Now clouded leopard, one can find is again a rare. We find in the Arunachal Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Eastern Himalaya. we will see cloud leopard is the himalaya not the western himalaya but when you say snow leopard so we can find it throughout himalaya like for example ladakh le ladakh we have snow leopard there is a place called hemis right here there is a place uh, hemis national park which is known for snow leopard that is the part of the ladakh kind of a belt then then you know himachal pradesh so himachal pradesh uh, There is a Spiti, the place called Spiti, Lahore Spiti, Spiti Valley. Then I have a Pin Valley, right? Spiti, Pin, all these are part of Northern Himachal Pradesh. But when you say Hemis, there is a part of Ladakh. So what you find there? There is a part of Western Himalaya. But again, let's say if you go to Eastern Himalaya, you all know that Kanchenjunga, right? Kanchenjunga National Park. in sikkim again you have a when we go upper region more than 3000 meter we find snow leopard there right kanchenjunga also has a clouded leopard at the same time as we go further arunachal pradesh right arunachal pradesh you know one of the very important place comes this one nam dhapa where is nam dhapa arunachal pradesh i'm just giving example genetic diversity means Same species, but we have differences. So now let's say Namdhapa National Park in Arunachal Pradesh is one of the places where you have all three leopards together. We can cite common leopard, we can cite snow leopard, we can also see clouded leopard. The same kind of ecosystem we find. Right? Plus you have a tiger also there. Is also tiger reserve of Arunachal Pradesh. So taking a leopard as a species, we have diversity. Now I'll bring one more area. panther like you know black panther see panther as a species we will not say complete species a sub species which are evolved from leopard but only one change comes here melanin pigment the the fur color of the skin right black in color but it has come from there and if you look at black panther it similar it, it basically resemble the jaguar if you look at the color and the size jaguar there But it has come from leopard, the black panther, and we have black panther in India. Like when you go to MP Maharashtra region, we find common leopard again. You find Maharashtra and all this region 
we have a population common leopard so that means they are leopard only but they are different because of the gene genetic aspect let's look at another example here when you say rhinos right rhinos of the world again i am giving genetic diversity example if you look at rhinos of the world so there are five types of rhinos are there all these are same species but they differ at genetic level like for example if we take rhinos of the world so first is the northern white rhino northern white rhino it is also called african white rhino size wise if you look at the size the body size the biggest size is northern white rhino then comes the second what comes greater one horn rhino which india has got right one horn rhino but again you know not only india this one horn rhino is also part of nepal bhutan india is one part right assam and that area comes there but again it goes toward nepal side also and bhutan side also like most of time you will find rhinos the indian rhino we have population where assam right but there are also population of rhinos found in dudwa national park a dudwa national park is the terai rail range terai terai belt that is a part of the up uttar pradesh northern up you know lakhimpur and the lakhimpur khiri and that extend towards nepal side what type of habitat rhino require grassland because there are herbivores they feed on the grass and again swamp what is swamp a wetland land filled with water marshy land and swamp land so they they are found to live there at the same time not only nepal bhutan also the population rhino is there then what comes here third one african black rhino now african black rhino has now almost gone to the brink of extinction only very few people species there very few uh, numbers have been left in the wild there black rhino there so africa has the two of the northern white rhino and the black rhino black rhino population has declined very very fast then coming to southeast asia right when you go to java sumatra indonesia the two types of varieties of rhinos are there one is this javan rhino and then comes sumatran rhino now sumatran rhino is the smallest in area if it is area uh, size the size wise not area size wise sumatra is the smallest in size and if you take size by then white rhino is the biggest white rhino and indian rhino are almost little bit of 1920 there's only small bit of differences there but sumatran rhino is a very small size so now now say all are rhinos but they differ in the body size morphology right structure that's because of dna or gene genetic change so what scientists do in the case of biodiversity study they try to identify same species they'll take the one species but they will try to see the differences how many different types are there and then they will try to link with habitat ecosystem they'll try to connect with that one so i just given two examples same way if you look at cheetah so african cheetah asiatic cheetah and out of asiatic cheetah indian cheetah was there but which got lost indian cheetah is extinct but uh, still few of asiatic cheetah they are found with iran leopard population very fine more cheetah african cheetah they are more in numbers so if you look at uh, main stock ancestral stock is the africa now it would have happened that african cheetah would have migrated to asiatic region and then they had some genetic change evolution and they became asiatic cheetah again maybe in past would what would have happened group of uh, asiatic cheetah would have migrated to indian subcontinent and then they made genetic change and became indian cheetah right they became indian cheetah so if you take cheetah as a species the same but they differ it see there are many such example if you look at pangolin there are different types of pangolin worldwide india has got two indian pangolin chinese pangolin but they are pangolin only so what scientists do they fix their habitat they fix an ecosystem they try to see within the species differences like tiger if we take tiger royal bengal tiger that is the indian tiger but you know siberian tiger caspian tiger 
जावन टाइगर विद डिफरेंट वराइटीज ऑफ टाइगर्स तो ऑल दीज आर जेनेटिक डाइवर्सिटी राइट तो दैट इज वन पार्ट कम्स विच आई गिवन एग्जाम्पल सो हियर वट आई कम अक्रॉस लेट मी गो गेट बैक तो वट से स्टडी ऑफ वेरिएशन राइट आई एम अगेन रिपीटिंग बैक वट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी डिफरेंट टाइप्स वेन साइंटिस्ट स्टडी डिफरेंसेस करेक्ट आउट ऑफ दैट हाउ मनी लेवल्स ऑफ स्टडी इज देर वन इज द जेनेटिक ना वट इज जेनेटिक हेयर विद इन स्पेसिस इन साइड द सेम स्पेसिस देर वट आई गेव द एग्जाम्पल लेपर्ड लेपर्ड इज स्पेसिस बट वॉट वी फाइंड कॉमन लेपर्ड स्नो लेपर्ड क्लाउड लेपर्ड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स आर देर एंड आई गेव यू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एरियाज वेर वी फाइंड स्नो लेपर्ड राइट समटाइम्स यू हैव टू कनेक्ट विद द करेंट अफेयर्स विच आर द एरियाज विच आर द नेशनल पार्क वेर वी कम स्नो लेपर्ड बट इफ यू लुक एट कॉन्सेप्ट वाइज स्नो लेपर्ड इज अ जेनेटिक डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ लेपर्ड ओनली इट कम्स विद इन द लेपर्ड ओनली देम सेम वे आई हैव गिवन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ राइनोज all rhinos are the same species but again they differ genetically size and everything comes into that right so that is what so this is what i have said first within species what will be next type of diversity between species right next will be here uh next will be here number 2 that is a species diversity species diversity that mean here we are doing comparison here the comparison between species kehne ka matlab hai ki yahan pe jo vyagyanik hoga wo kya karega ek species ko dusre se compare karega jo ki alag alag hai same nahi hai genetic mein kya hota hai same species hota hai uske alag alag varieties hote hain usko study kiya jata hai now here if you look at between here let's say here this one which is now making lot of headline cat family but we big cat family here so if you look at big cats worldwide you are aware of one is panthera tigris tiger then comes a lion panthera leo right third we have discussed here leopard panthera unis the scientific names are there then you are aware of that what will be next one here cheetah right then what will come here huh ah uh, jaguar will be coming there but cheetah then what comes here this panther now you can add i'll write here see india doesn't have jaguar and another come puma now puma is in north america north america let me write here you will find in north america and jaguar you know south america but uh, apart from the remaining one we have indian tiger royal bengal tiger sundarban delta and all we have asiatic lion gir forest girnar forest gujarat that is all. and again you know upsc asked the question india is the only home of asiatic lion but when you take other type of lion african lion in africa but asiatic lion we have here the leopard i have said so many type of leopards are there cheetah now cheetah has come to india also there panther we have a panther also there the black panther and all this like i'll give you good example uh for panther there is one place called pench pench is a tiger reserve in madhya pradesh and neighboring state maharashtra also has a pench it is also home of panther we find panther there then you know jaguar and puma they are not native of india i can say the even cheetah used to be there 50s indian cheetah but now we have reintroduced but if you look at right now puma and jaguar we don't have in india but maybe this interest of big cat alliance one day we would also try to but they have different type of climate climatic condition like for jaguar you know the amazon amazon forest tropical that is the world's biggest tropical rainforest so if you look at uh, we do have such kind of tropical rain forest in india so who knows maybe after few years government may decide to resettle this animal also but ideally speaking they are non native cheetah we can try why because cheetah used to be found in india so that we have tried with cheetah there but again the question mark is there ki whether this project is rational whether we should have brought cheetah already we have lost indian cheetah but what is the rational behind the having african cheetah to india 
and, and again the question has raised on the survival survival extent but what the expert is saying that with due course of time these all animals will be able to adapt to the new habitat so it is just the beginning of the project right so what i'm saying here when you say big cat we are talking about so many type of species found worldwide not only in india worldwide so they are what species diversity now let me bring here one concept that's what i'm trying to connect here see when you look at biodiversity so normally biodiversity is studied with species within species you have genetic different types so they focus species part so now let's understand here in the same concept i'm bringing here like if any location we want to study any habitat so what is something called here there are two parameters there are two parameters to study species diversity let me bring this uh, concept here you are aware of it also aapne kahin na kahin padha hoga main species diversity mein hi samjha raha hu ek to ho gaya genetic humne padha then comes species so now i'm coming to species diversity mein a scientist it's a kanchanjunga or let's say sundarban wherever it goes they look into two aspects here one is called richness species richness and second they look into species evenness any anyone who can distinguish it? what i've done here i have started the biodiversity topic definition three levels we are talking first i gave genetic diversity within you have now i came to species diversity okay, what is species diversity with example now i'm bringing another uh, dimension to it the scientists in a given area a forest grassland will use these two parameters to understand the species diversity one is richness another is evenness kai bar ye word aata hai ki koi jagah bahut sari rich hai koi jagah richness kam hai to uska matlab hai what do you mean by this word species richness there number of species there let's say when is a big cat suppose just suppose in future kuno like right now cheetah is there let's in future cheetah leopard even tiger and then we have asiatic lion also there there was a earlier proposal so what will happen there in the same habitat kuno will have four different type of cats that is the kind of so what has happened richness has increased richness has increased so what is simple meaning of richness is that here you have more number of more number of different types of species agar kisi jagah pe alag alag tarah ka same type nahi genetic ki baat nahi ho rahi hai species ki baat ho rahi hai alag alag type ke species ho that means a common area common ecosystem and you have different varieties of of plants and animals same area then we call it as a higher richness let's say even same ecosystem you have tiger lion leopard you have rhinos you have elephant so you are talking about numbers we are not talking about whether you have 10 tiger or 100 tigers you are saying tiger lion rhino elephant you are talking different species in that particular habitat but when you come to evenness even is nothing but abundance what do you call something called abundance i'll connect two words here it basically looks into one is this one abundance of uh, one species what is evenness here it looks into first thing abundance you know matlab ab jaise ab yahan pe kya hota hai ki tiger abundant hai ki nahi tiger zyada hai ki nahi in that area whether tiger is 10 or 20 or 100 right that is one and second thing what comes to even is that is the distribution geographical distribution of each species let me again explain you see when you say richness so you are counting different type of species in a given area whether you have a 10 of them or 20 or 100 of them you are talking different types of species but when you are taking talking about evenness so what you are considering you are considering each species its number that is abundance 
whether tiger is 10 or 100, whether elephant is 5 or 50. We are talking each species. And second, what you are talking about? Spatial distribution. In a given area, how many tigers are distributed? And where they are located? See, if they are if located equally, so they are even. If they are not located equally, they are uneven. Suppose, in that given area, tiger is only very few. There is only 10 tigers. But you find more elephants. Right? More number of elephants are there. So again, that evenness will change. But let's say same area, 10 tigers, 10 elephants. So both are even. 10 tigers, 10 elephants, both are even there. But let's say only 10 tigers, but 100 elephants, uneven. So you are taking each species and their number. But when you say richness, so what are you talking about richness? You are talking about variety of species, different types. Okay? So this is a parameter. ये क्यों जरूरी है यूपीएससी में कई बार कीवर्ड यूज होगा समटाइम्स यूपीएससी में नॉट आस्क यू डेफिनेशन बट यूपीएससी में समटाइम यूज सम कीवर्ड इन द क्वेश्चन तो इमीडिएटली शुड कम टू योर माइंड कि व्हाट इज रिचनेस कि व्हाट डू मीन बाय रिचनेस वर्ड आई विल ब्रिंग अनदर थिंग हियर एनी ज्योग्राफिकल एरिया और इकोसिस्टम स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी दैट आल्सो स्टडीड थ्रू थ्री पैरामीटर्स एंड देयर मे बी स्टूडेंट हु मे बी अवेयर अल्फा बीटा गामा अल्फा डाइवर्सिटी beta diversity gamma diversity so anyone because that's what today class i started with the important topic because my concern is you know my concern is most of you who are going to appear this year exam where you can solve the question there right now let's go come to this one so another thing you can write here when you say species diversity species diversity so we have alpha beta and gamma kon batayega this alpha diversity beta and diversity gamma diversity mujhe laga ki abhi shuruaat pe 10 20 honge mujhe fir fir pura class bhar gaya that means uh, you are all coming to on the way matlab ka kitne log yahi pass bhi rahte hain ya dur se aate hain अच्छा इसीलिए ओके इसीलिए आज वो ऑनलाइन वहां पर है आज कल है ऑप्शन का क्लास पीएसआर का आज कुछ तो जाना पहचाना चेहरा भी लग रहा है इनका चेहरा पहचाना लग रहा है अब कहां थे एमपी नहीं मतलब यहीं पर कोई और इंस्टीट्यूट भी तो नहीं है कोई नहीं आज कई बार चेहरे मिल जाते हैं ना तो वही इसलिए पूछा ये थोड़ा सा तो शुरुआत में थोड़ा मैंने डराया आप लोगों को देखो यूपीएससी क्या है ठीक है वो इसलिए ताकि आप लोग लाइन पे हो है ना तो ऐसे डरना नहीं है ठीक है अब एंड अब बी लेट्स सी आफ्टर द क्लास 10:30 व्हाट एवर डाउट्स यू हैव यू आर ऑल फ्री टू आस्क मी इवन द ऑनलाइन हु आर अटेंडिंग राइट नाउ जूम सेशन है ना यू हैव अ जूम सेशन सिस्टम सो दोस आर ऑनलाइन दे कैन आल्सो आस्क द डाउट्स तो वहां पे मैं क्लास के बाद आई विल बी हियर टू एड्रेस ऑल द ऑनलाइन डाउट्स और इसमें ये करना है हम लोग फूड्स एंड फूड में वो सब भी पढ़ेंगे आई वी गेटिंग दैट दैट साइड आल्सो देयर बट व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज दैट कि आई एम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज अ फर्स्ट वेरी कॉमन बिकॉज फूड्स एंड फूड वेब और अदर इकोलॉजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड बट इफ यू नो सर्टन बेसिक थिंग अबाउट बायोडाइवर्सिटी देन यू विल बी एबल टू कनेक्ट विद दैट एंड अगेन करंट अफेयर्स यू डोंट हैव टू वरी यू ऑल विल बी कमिंग टू क्यूएपी प्रोग्राम हां तो दैट टाइम यहां पे जहां-जहां टॉपिक के साथ होगा मैं बताता जाऊंगा बट उस समय हम लोग डिटेल ओनली करंट अफेयर्स ही होगा जैसे मैंने बताया कि जो चीजें अनटचड है ठीक है दो एरियाज आर अनटचड एरिया माय टास्क इज दैट टू ब्रिंग देम आउट राइट तो वही मैं हर बार कहता हूं कि मेरी याद आएगी यू रिमेंबर मी और एक चीज मैं कहता हूं क्या कब मैं गया तो काली रात 26 मई की रात वहां पर वो चीज है राइट 25 में नहीं नहीं प्रीलिम्स का डेट कौन सा है ट्वेंटी सिक्स में ना हाँ पच्चीस मई काली रात पच्चीस मई की काली रात होगी ठीक है छब्बीस के छब्बीस में काली रात होगी वो डिपेंड करता है <laughs> एग्जाम का क्या ठीक है ना हाँ मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि आप लोगों की काली रात ना हो मतलब है ना उस दिन का यू आर ऑल रिलैक्स देर अच्छा जोक के लिए मुझे हिंदी बीच में बोलना ही पड़ेगा तो दो सौ पर साउथ प्लीज पार्डन मी इफ समाइम बट यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट पीपल कर्नाटका दे नो हिंदी वेरी वेल 
even uh, they are also there, right? Little bit, you are able to understand? No, don't worry. Whenever I crack joke in Hindi, I'll translate in English also there. All right? <laughs> then you'll be able to understand there. Right? No, that's what I asked them. You know, sabka saath, sabka bikas. Right? That's what one has to take into account. Okay, so this is what I asked you. So... No, he was very proud. Who did karke pura? I feel like he... That's why he was like that. Because now he's got a lot of pressure, so he's warming. Don't worry, we'll control him. Okay, okay. Alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma. Who will tell me alpha, beta, gamma? Hey! How did that happen? Alpha, beta, gamma? Okay, in beta? In beta, there is a combination of the two. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do one thing. I'll get back to here. Let me draw a diagram here. Suppose, suppose let's say for example, I take Kunu, Kunu National Park. Just an example. I am giving a hypothetical example. Suppose, then you understand what is alpha, beta, gamma. We take an entire Kunu National Park in MP and then we divide areas there. Let's say these are three areas. Right? Scientists take the entire Kunu, divide into that. Suppose in Kuno, where cheetah has been brought, African cheetah is there, right? You also have leopard also there. Suppose that's a hypothetical example. Other area, there is no cheetah, but you have a leopard, right? You have a, um, like the spotted deer. Let's keep here spotted deer also because both are uh, carnivore. They would also require uh, food. They would also require food. I know. Arbi was saying, you know, it will survive. Nikare ga. So it's a deer is also there. But here, leopard and spotted deer is only. Right? One carnivore and one herbivore is there. And other part we find here, let's say we have something tiger also there. This happens with tiger. We have leopard. Then cheetah. Right? And then you have a spotted deer. Very simple example I am giving there. See, when you take each place, suppose this is a habitat number one, one physical habitat. So what we find here in one, we come across cheetah, leopard, spotted deer, three species are there. First has got cheetah, leopard and deer, three species are there. Now if we take second, number two, we come across two species, leopard and spotted deer. And where is the third one? Third habitat. We find four of them. So if we do the comparison, agar richness ki baat kare, so three is more than one, more than two. Agar richness ki baat kare, what is richness? Different types. So three has got more number of species. Then one, one has got three, and second has got only two. But each of the habitats, see here, this is called alpha. What is alpha? Every habitat. Our habitat ka apna diversity. Diversity of each habitat is the alpha. So, I have drawn the diagram here. So, if you take each habitat within the geographical landscape. What is geographical landscape? Kunu. Kunu is geographical landscape. We have taken three habitats. If we take one habitat, within that habitat, what is the richness? Three, four, five, whatever richness is there. So, that is alpha. Alpha of first is what? 3. Alpha of second, 2. And alpha of third, 4. Okay? Now, suppose beta. What is beta? Now, you take two habitats. Suppose habitat number 1 plus habitat number 2. Suppose 1 and 2. We combine them. So, what is the richness? Hoga? Tell me richness here. If we combine 1 and 2, so what will be richness here? अब आपने क्या किया? एक हैबिटेट जगह दो हैबिटेट ले लिया। तो व्हाट इस डाइवर्सिटी? डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्पीशीज। तो विच आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ स्पीशीज? चीता, लेपर्ड, पॉटेड डियर बस। अगर हम दोनों को कंबाइन कर लें, तो हमें कितने तरह के स्पीशीज मिलता है? चीता, लेपर्ड एंड स्पॉटेड डियर। तो व्हाट इस 
if you combine two two with the third now tell me what is the diversity here two and third if we combine second and the third leopard spotted deer tiger and so how much will be there four and if we combine one and three one and three so kitna aayega isme if we one and three how many species are there one and three again the four cheetah leopard spotted deer and tiger so again you get four so this is called beta what is beta when you take two habitats not a single see if you take one single habitat alpha but if you take two of them is a beta so this is beta this is also beta and this is also beta that depends on that depends on how many habitats are there correct so now comes a gamma what is gamma gamma is the total what is total here how many habitats are there how many habitats are three habitats so total habitats kitne tarah ke species diversity hai four types hai agar hum sabhi habitat ko mila de sabko mila ke rakh de aur wahan dekhe kitna diversity hai so how many species we come across leopard spotted deer tiger and the cheetah so here will be four so what is gamma four what is gamma total diversity of that area take go gamma मैं फिर समझा रहा हूं अगर हम किसी भी लैंडस्केप में एक हैबिटेट को ले तो अल्फा हो गया दो को हम ले तो बीटा हो गया और सभी को ले ले गामा होगा बस सिंपल चीज इफ यू टेक वन सिंगल हैबिटेट अल्फा इफ यू टेक टू हैबिटेट्स वी गेट बीटा एंड वी टेक ऑल हैबिटेट्स वी कम अक्रॉस गामा दैट इज डिपेंड्स ऑन दैट लैंडस्केप इफ इट सुंदर बन सुंदर में बन में हैव मोर डाइवर्सिटी देन कूनो इफ यू कम्पे सुंदर बन बिकॉज सुंदर बन इज मैंग्रो फॉरेस्ट which may support more biodiversity as compared to kuno kuno is more uh, dry area semi arid area i know if we compare sundarban with western ghats nilgiri so nilgiri may have more higher diversity than sundarban so what scientists do they make the comparison they do the comparison there right so what i'll do here i have given this example so uh, shall, shall i go back to the, that that uh, flow chart uh, so i'll put across the point here alpha that is a what is alpha here yes diversity of one habitat here diversity of two habitats here or simply i can write between two habitats and gamma is the diversity of all habitats सिंपल थिंग हाँ डिफरेंस को क्या क्या डिफरेंस है कितने तरह के अलग अलग स्पीसीज है वहां पर उनको हम लोग अकाउंट लेते हैं सो वॉट इज माई पॉइंट इज दैट लेट्स विच अवर टॉपिक आई टेक इन द क्लास तो दो बेसिक थिंग एंड यू कैन डू वन थिंग इज दैट यू कैन मेक बेस्ट यूज ऑफ द क्लास रूम ऑफ लर्निंग दोज कॉन्सेप्ट तो लेट्स ए इफ इन केस सपोज दैट इफ एनी क्वेश्चन कम्स ऑन दिस वन यू आर अवेयर ऑफ इट you know what is the part of it right so what is alpha what is beta what is gamma you are thoroughly aware of this and i have given the example also there right so i'll again uh, return back i have given definition of biodiversity and we are discussing three first genetic within a species second species diversity and within species diversity i have mentioned parameters richness evenness alpha beta gamma right now we'll come to the third level what is third level ecosystem diversity where we go to the bigger level there right higher level there so all have written this one you are able to copy there so anywhere uh, uh, what i'll try uh, because people at the back because of podium it might have problem there so i'll try to just uh, you know um, uh, keep it upward only theek hai yahan tak theek hai aap log ye mai ek bar raise kar leta hu up till is all right people at the back I know, so I'll not go at the bottom because otherwise there will be difficulty in seeing the part of it. Online, to no problem. Online, Online to camera is there; they are able to see everything there, right? Now let's look at here. Um, let me get back to the next one here. 
सो नाउ वी आर कमिंग थर्ड वन इको सिस्टम डायवर्सिटी राइट इकोलॉजिकल सिस्टम डायवर्सिटी नाउ व्हाट इज इकोलॉजिकल सिस्टम डायवर्सिटी हियर वी आर टेकिंग स्पीसीज डायवर्सिटी found in different ecosystems suppose let's say for example we compared tropical rainforest right so this we are comparing tropical rainforest with let's say temperate forest the species will be found in both the type of forest but their diversity may change sabse jyada most abundant form of life they are found in a tropical climate like when you talk about amazon forest or we take a uh, western ghats of india tropical rain forest they have they support more type of trees plants even you know amphibians reptiles mammals birds स्पीसीज का डायवर्सिटी ज्यादा होता है ठीक है एक बार क्वेश्चन आया तो रेन कोरल रीफ के बारे में सी कोरल रीफ यू लुक एट इज अ मराइन एरिया सो मराइन एरिया यू नॉट कम विको प्लांट स्पीसीज यस यू विल फाइंड एनिमल एनिमल विल बी मोर जो बोलते हैं ना फाउना राइट दैट विल मोर बट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट रेन फॉरेस्ट विल हैव फ्लोरा एज वेल एज फाउना सो इफ यू लुक एट ओवरऑल डायवर्सिटी वर्ल्ड वाइड Highest will be rainforest, but if you take coral reef, animal, animal phyla, phyla बोलते हैं animal diversity. Always remember that if you take diversity of animal world, ocean has got rich one. है ना वो बोलते हैं कई बार vertebrate, invertebrate, biology part, and many of the invertebrates, what is invertebrate, which are not having the backbone and all this, they are part of ocean there. तो ये स्पॉन्ज वगैरह जो होते हैं बाकी सारी चीजें, तो वहाँ पर आते हैं. लेकिन हम अगर पूरी बात करें प्लांट एनिमल बोथ फ्लोरा फोना एवरीथिंग देन रेन फॉरेस्ट हैज मोर इवन यू नो ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट रिच इन इंसेक्ट इंसेक्ट वराइटीज दे हैव गॉट मोर टाइप ऑफ थिंग तो वी मेक अ कंपैरिजन ऑफ हियर इकोसिस्टम ठीक है वी आर मेकिंग दैट अब मैं बहुत अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट बता रहा हूँ और कई बार क्वेश्चन आता भी है मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चन आर आज हॉटस्पॉट बायोडावर्सिटी हॉटस्पॉट कॉन्सेप्ट देखो हम लिंकिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट आई लिंक द कॉन्सेप्ट जेनेटिक डायवर्सिटी जीन स्पीसीज मेजरमेंट इको सिस्टम लार्ज एरिया नाउ एम कमिंग टू द कॉन्सेप्ट हॉटस्पॉट अगेन हॉटस्पॉट लिंक विद रिचनेस स्पीसी रिचनेस तो नाउ नाउ वॉट कम्स हियर यू कैन गिव अ टाइटल हियर बायोडावर्सिटी हॉटस्पॉट and if you go back to the question paper you will find so many times upsc has asked question on hotspots and even sometime what upsc does not direct indirect question you know direct ki jagah indirect question bhi aata hai kai baar jo so now tell me who ever have read here in the classroom aware of this concept then i'll add in a infographic i'll make a infographic all the point in the same chart so that you are able to read and revise before the exam So just a normal discussion. I know offline के ही तो फायदा है. You can interact with the teacher. Online तो वो zoom वाले करेंगे बाद में. Right? हाँ tell me. क्या क्या चीजें पता है? What all things you know about this concept of hotspot? Whatever basic thing you are aware. Okay, diversity of species. All right. Okay. Yes. Tell me. You would have read somewhere. Correct. That is a very true. That has more diversity, but has been affected because of the human development. Lost. They were lost of species. See, this concept came into highlight because of looking to threat, human development and threat. Like if you take Western Ghats of India, right? Western Ghats of India has very high level diversity, but problem is that mining today, mining hydro power. Infrastructure, all those developments are there, and we are losing the forest. 
many of the forests of western ghats we are losing slowly there so that's what come so i'll bring here the first thing is that when we look into this concept let's uh, let me go with every point here key points here first is that who is the person behind it not very important for exam but just as your background information upsc will not ask the name of the scientist right just for your understanding part normal mayors right he is the person behind this concept of hotspot dr norman mayors he gave this concept in 1988 that put in a bracket there which year 1988 again not very important for prelims point of view but just as a background in 1988 this scientist is a british uh, environmentalist a british environmentalist who gave this concept of he coined the word hotspot he gave the concept here now based on his concept now what i am writing here there is a non government organization called conservation international ti you know many times in prelims exam organizations are question asked so there is a organization called ci conservation international now this organization was formed in 1989 so that means sir uh, now you have a fact what is the fact here ci is the organization at the global level which work for hotspot right hotspot concept is there now what comes the second thing here second thing comes here what is a hotspot what basically mean by hotspot so here hotspot so as you have all have said that they are rich in biodiversity so here first come term comes here biogeographic biogeographic region what does that mean it may be one country it can be more than one countries right either it will be a one single country within that country or sometime it may be neighboring countries also so biogeographic region I have written here. I'll give you example. Single country or more than one country will see the example. Now, what is a, another thing? This region, Arbor, it is said that more than fifty percent of Earth's biodiversity, global biodiversity, are in these hotspots. That we we take all these hotspots, Earth's uh, more than fifty percent of flora and fauna are found there. So, what is here? They are extremely rich. in species diversity they are extremely rich in species diversity that is more abundance more variety of species are there now what comes the next one here next one comes it has to satisfy two state criteria so not every place will be called as a hotspot not every place will be declared as hotspot it has to meet two conditions the first condition here number 1 that is called endemism high level of endemism now what do you mean by endemism only found there nowhere else endemic ka matlab hota hai sthanik keval usi sthan mein hoga aur kahin nahi hoga Only found in that area, nowhere else. Even may be endemic to that country only. May not be any other country in the world. May have that plant or animal. So here the condition says that at least, at least uh, now look at here. Although endemism will be of animals also there, but the criteria talks about plant. So at least uh, that will minimum one thousand five hundred. I'll underline this number: one thousand five hundred minimum. It can be more than that, but should not be less than. Remember that should not be less than fifteen hundred. It has to be more than fifteen hundred. So at least uh, minimum one thousand five hundred. Another very important word is vascular. Right, vascular plants are endemic.
See, the, every keyword you have to notice, minimum 1500 and what type of plants? Vascular plants, not all type of plants should be endemic. Now the question, what do you mean by vascular plant? Right? Any idea what is vascular plant? See, plant kingdom is again very diversified, it's very vast. Right? Plant kingdom is very, very vast. These are those plants which have well developed root and roots and stem. These are mostly well developed type of uh, plants, land plants and water, aquatic plants, terrestrial in one. See, if you talk about plant, fern is also plant, fern. Right? These are uh, they are smaller plants. They also have roots, but they may not have a stem and branch. Right? So in the plant kingdom, these are those plants which contain, and now give a bi biological word, xylem and phloem. If you remember the school days, xylem. Xylem is a tissue, what is called conducting tissue. Where do you find xylem tissue? Roots of the plant. What it conduct? Water with mineral. And then another phloem. So where do you find phloem tissue? That is the leaf, stem, branches. What it conducts? Food, carbohydrate, glucose. So not every plant on this earth, right? Uh, all are not there. There is those type of plants which have got well developed type of conducting tissues. Whether it may be herb, remember that. It may be herb, maybe shrub, maybe tall trees, but must have xylem and phloem. Agar uska xylem phloem hai, connecting tissues hai, usko count kiya jata hai. Matlab, kahne ka matlab hai, agar aap kisi area gaye, waha bhoat sara plants hai, to waha woh scientist kya dekhe ga, kiska xylem phloem hai. Aur woh bhi alag alag type ke, same type nahi. That means, those type of plant species, you are talking about species, they will count how many different type of plant species. And again, what is the second thing? Only found there, not anywhere else. Asa nahi ki wo yaha bhi hai, China mein bhi hai, Japan mein bhi hai, and other South Asian countries, waha bhi nahi hai, only India, nowhere else. And another thing is what? They must have xylem and phloem. And another third thing is what? Minimum 1500, should be more than 1500. These are very strict criteria. Now what he has said, that I am coming here. So what is second point here, number two? Threatened. They are threatened uh, by human development. So what is threatened here means? Again there is a criteria. More than 70%. Habitat loss. So I will write it here. Then I will bring it down here. More than, more than 70% loss of original vegetation. More than 70% loss of original vegetation. So I will underline this word, 70% and what is here? Vegetation. Again you see trees and plants. Kani ka matlab hai, us jaga pe, ab tak mein, 70 pratishat se jada, jo waha ka forest area tha, ya jo vegetation lo khatam ho chuka hai. So how much is remaining? Less than 30%, more than 70% loss. So again remember that both criteria have to satisfy together. Both have to satisfy together. It's not either one. Both have to be satisfied. Then only we can declare hotspot. So now this is the where condition comes. Now comes here. Um, yes, loss will be very important one. These loss are not natural one. You know, sometimes I'll give you a very good example, what he has brought. Sometime, you know, wildfire, forest fire, right? Now, you know, global warming impact. These laws are counted like mining, hydropower, sometimes, you know, deforestation, human development. That will lead to that one. Although, you know, forest can be affected because of flood, natural calamity, you know, forest fire. So they're not counting that. That means that area has lost because significantly because of human aspect there. Like I have given you example Western Ghats, we have lost uh, much of the, uh, you know, even uh, forest areas, patch, we have been losing that. Now what comes here, I will just try to bring it down here, same flow chart, so I will come to this one, this area here. 
सो इंडिया यू कैन राइट वन सेंटेंस इंडिया हैज फोर हॉटस्पॉट आउट ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स ग्लोबल हॉटस्पॉट That means if we take 36 worldwide, but again remember that, uh, see national park, sanctuary, Ramsar site, hotspot, these all numbers are changeable. I have written the name of organization. Maybe that organization may declare some new, but as of now, 36 are there, right? Out of 36, India has still got four. But I'll tell you that um, sometimes when you do Google search, uh, the Hindu paper, you'll come with six name. So when Hindu paper reporting their six. So these are not uh, officially confirmed. We use official. Sometimes when you search, we have Wikipedia also. Something which is officially declared, something under pipeline, may be considered. So right now, official declaration of four hotspot here. The so first I have mentioned that this Western Ghats, and you all know that Western Ghats start from border of Gujarat, just border of Gujarat with Maharashtra. Main states are Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, but we also include Gujarat, border area. The so total six are there. Right? How six are there? Some part of Gujarat. I'll give you a very good example. Let's say when you go to Mumbai, and from Mumbai you are going towards Surat. You know, Daman and all this comes, Palghar and all this. Right? Like for example, western side, particular western side. I'll give you a good example. If you have been to Mumbai, there is a place called Borivali. And Borivali has got Sanjay Gandhi National Park. The very important park, Sanjay Gandhi National Park. That's the part of Borivali is now well uh, suburban. You know, suburban developed. Borivali National Park, that Sanjay Gandhi National Park, is a part of Western Ghat landscape. Like leopard and all, you will find that there's a part of Western Ghat landscape. You know, R A. There was something R A colony, and there was a proposal to cut trees for metro project, and there was a protest. The thousands of trees will be going to be cut, but then it was, uh, uh, you know, so that that area is again Western Ghat. Now Borivali, you'll find there Mira Road, Bhayandar. Then you have Nala Sopara, Virar. This is part of again Maharashtra. Then as you go further ahead on the same line, you'll come to Palghar, Tarapur. The Tarapur is a atomic power station. There's a Bark, Bhabha Atomic Research Center. As you cross Tarapur, you'll come across Daman. You know Daman and Diu and all this. And from there you will reach to Surat. So that area, Daman, Surat, is a part of again adjoining to Western Ghats, where the Maharashtra ends, Gujarat starts. Ha, udhari hai the Western Ghats mein. Bilkul. Tadoba Andhari. Anna uska pura naam hai Tadoba aur. And Tadoba is also known for tigers. Is a tiger reserve of Maharashtra. So Western Ghats is a very big area. Anna Western Ghats is a very big area. So, but this is important to remember. पांच स्टेट नहीं है छह है गुजरात को भी कुछ पार्ट हम काउंट करते हैं ठीक है तो सिक्स स्टेट्स कम हियर पर विच आर मेन वन महाराष्ट्र गोवा तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक एंड केरल आर मेन वन राइट नाउ कम्स योर सेकेंड हिमालय मेनी ऑफ टाइम्स बुक्स में जो होते हैं दे हैव नॉट अपडेटेड बहुत सारी किताब में आप देखें ईस्टर्न हिमालय लिखा होगा बट नाउ इट इज बोथ वेस्टर्न एंड ईस्टर्न अब इस वेस्टर्न में लद्दाख जम्मू एंड कश्मीर उत्तराखंड हिमाचल प्रदेश और ईस्टर्न में सिक्किम एंड अरुणाचल प्रदेश वी हैव दोज मेनी एरियाज आर कम तो इंटायर हिमालय दैट बिकम द पार्ट ऑफ इट देन कमिंग टू हियर थर्ड वन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेस इंडो बर्मा इंडो बर्मा एंड आई सेट हियर ना इफ यू लुक एट वन कंट्री वन कंट्री इफ यू लुक एट राइट एंड देन आई मेनी कंट्रीज Like when you say Indo Burma, North East India, that part, and then Burma is what Myanmar, Myanmar. Then which country comes near to Myanmar? Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand. So, pura ka pura area hai. Or ye itra pura area hai. Even it includes the Andaman. We have Andaman Islands. Andaman also comes under Indo Burma. That is, there is large area covers there. Now, when you say Himalaya, again many countries means. Himalaya is the part of India also, Bhutan, Nepal, China also comes, and also comes a part of Pakistan also. How Pakistan's part will come? When we go up, Kargil and all this, or the P.O.K. part, Hindu Kush, they say, right? 
Hindukus Himalayas. That part goes to Pamir note, you know, Pamir note and all this. So again, the part of Himalayan range comes. See, Himalaya, we should not think only greater and middle and Shivali. Himalaya comes trans Himalaya. That's the part of Ladakh and that area. And again, you know, LSE part comes to the China part, Tibet, Tibet and all this area. So again, many of the countries come into that, right? Then if you look at Indo-Burma, I have said Southeast Asia and India, Northeastern. And the fourth one, which again becomes important of Nicobar kind of thing, Sunda land. Sunda land. Now what is Sunda land? Sunda land is a part of uh, Java. Sunda is a place when you map the geography. Sunda Strait, Strait. S-T-R-A-I-T. There is a passage, right? Sunda Strait. Java, Sumatra. And that area extends to Nicobar. Like we, you, you know that our southernmost island is Great Nicobar. Nicobar is Kar Nicobar, Great Nicobar. So the Nicobar comes under the biogeographic area of the Sunda land. Now, why government want to develop that Great Nicobar? Because that link to the that part, Indonesia, Malaysia, Java. So there are two importance are there. One is maritime. You know, bulk of the cargo ship that goes there. And second is a strategic defense. Because now the presence of China, you know, China, China is getting very much aggressive there. So that is strategic part. But what is the neg uh, negative part? Negative part, two things. One is the environment. And second is the social. You know, the tribe. Which tribes are there in Nicobar? Swampen. You know, Swampen tribe. Jaraba, Jaraba is an Andaman. Nicobar, Nicobar, I'm saying. Nicobar is, you know, Sentinelese, both are Sentinelese. And Swampen, yes, of tribe. So, there is a concern that their displacement will be. You know, when you have a place project, what will happen? You will displace the area. Any development, you know, any development, what will happen? If wherever you do the development, the local community has to be displaced. So, one concern is that. And recently, you know, Dopadi uh, Murmu, our president, has gone to Nicobar. What is the reason for going her to the Nicobar? To pacify. People who are scared to pacify them. Keep Wahapar, government will take care of your things. That's what she visited. And again, you know that Andaman Nicobar is a union territory. You don't have any chief minister or something. And you all know that union territory comes under whose control? Central government. And for that, central government appoint what? Lieutenant governor, no? There's some post is there, no? Governor. For Andaman Nicobar, again, governor, governor will report to whom? President. See, this is how you have to connect there. Why president has gone there? Because the local people were protesting of the project. So what is one thing is that their fear that they will lose their livelihood, they will lose their land. There's a fear is there. Same happens in main main part of India also. Same concern is there. And second is that mangrove, coral reef, dugong, invader part of it. But what is the other positive side? Strategic. Defense, naval defense, and second, economic, maritime trade. That's what becomes very important. And again, remember that when you talk about piracy, you know piracy, maritime piracy. So one piracy will come in Somalia, Red Sea. But again, you should remember, there is also a lot of piracy in this area, Sunda Strait, Java. And this area is very dangerous. Why dangerous? Because it's very narrow. Red Sea is still growing. Red Sea is linked to Indian Ocean. So, the ship is going to run away from Because you have open area. But if you come to this part, Java Sumatra, it's very narrow. So, if they hijack, you know, sometimes what they do, pirates, they hijack the ship for ransom. So, there's very narrow escape for the ships. And sometimes what India does, India also provides naval security to other countries. You know that? Like even in Indian Ocean, we send our Never ship for uh, security of the Indian Ocean. They were the Rim country, were the IOR Rim, Indian Ocean Rim, where the we, India gives the support, naval defense. Same thing will happen with Southeast Asia. Now you can connect with IR, your PSR subject by ASEAN, India and ASEAN. What is ASEAN? Association of South Asia. And India is one of the partner. As a, you know, one block is ASEAN. ASEAN is a block. But India has a collaboration with them. So let's say security part of that area, India can send the naval ships, let's say if there is any emergency. So that could be easily deployed. So that's why Great Nicobar becomes a
strategically important project, the redevelopment board. But what I said, where the UPC, we can ask a question about the biodiversity of that area. What the environmental aspect will be there. So we have brought there. This is what hotspot. And hotspot is what? Endemism. Species there. More there. So now this map which I have drawn. Now this uh, infograph. You have all the main points. In one place you get all the main points. So this you have to keep at the basic theory. But again the current affairs we will discuss in QEP class. In Nicobar, which kind of species are there? News are there? So then we will connect the current affairs there. So there I don't have to teach you what is hotspot. Because now you know what is hotspot. Correct? So this part comes into So we have discussed the genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. And there I mentioned the part of hotspot. Right? Now let's come to the next one here. See, when we come across the biodiversity, values or I mean to say importance very simple thing uh, tell me why we need to protect animals and plants normal bachcho ko we class 8 9 pe padhaya jata hai unke ebs ke book mein biodiversity importance yahan bahut sare bachche hai post 90s birth hai na ye bhi bachcha lag raha hai what is your date of birth ladke usse nahi puchna ji ladko se puch sakta hai he is a millennium, millennium boy is there. He is born in the millennium there. Pakka 2000 mein. First January to nahi. Nahi? Which was? 13 October. Yes, ka birthday yaad dekhna. Kek pe katna padega. Right? 13 October. So, okay. I am asking the question. Um, school mein padha tha? EBS, Inverter Science bahao tha na? Ko bada se praha jata hai? Aja koon bada hai? Simple hai. It's a very simple thing. Uh, it's a very simple thing. Now tell me here. Yes, I'll again make a flow chart here. What is the first importance of biodiversity? Why we need plants and animals? First important thing. Very simple thing here. Economic values, right? Food. We get food from where? Crops. Crops, crops. Rice, wheat, jowar, bajra, all these are food, na? vegetables. They are the part of uh, what we call it here. We say agricultural biodiversity. Where agricultural we have uh, so many types. Right? If it is not, then we have food security. If we have diversity, then we have to eat this. We have to eat this option. Hai. Now we imagine that there are limited options. So it would have been a big problem for mankind. So food is one thing, then you are aware of this one, medicines, different type of medicines, right? Even the plants, you know, medicinal plants. Abhi aaj kal hum log importance de rahe na, sanjivani, kind of, uh, uh, what is sanjivani? Such MPAs, medicinal plants areas. You know, where were such medicinal plants are there? So that is where the medicine comes. Then you are aware, timber, different type of timber. I mean to say raw materials, whatever raw materials we get, timber, lakdi, like you know, um, teak, teak is one variety, then mahogany, shisham, jitne bhi hai, jitne different type jo, sal, you know, turiya robusta, so we have different type of tree varieties, what we get from there, so that is economic value, I'll also add one more area here, which you all know that. Which is now very important. And nowadays, what is coming? Sustainable tourism. We need tourism, but the tourism has to be sustainable. It should not affect the species of that area. Unko problem nahi aana chahiye. Eco tourism again is a part. People go to such uh, safaris. Kai bar aapko pata hai, people go for mountaineering, trekking. Again, linked with that. So uh, economic values are linked with that. And why tourism becomes economic? Because you know, local people who live around that area, livelihood. And unke ajibika. Wo depend karta tourism pe. So that part comes. Then you are aware, second thing is what this one. I uh, will bring here this one, ecosystem. Jo ecological values hai. What is ecological values here? Like here, no balance. 
ecological balance in the nature that is by plants and animals हम लोग क्लास में पढ़ेंगे फूड चेन फूड वेब वगैरह जो है फूड वेब क्या है अगेन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अरबी बोर्ड कार्निव बोर्ड ऑल दिस कंट्रीज है वो बैलेंस अगर नहीं रहेगा तो पूरा इकोसिस्टम खत्म हो जाएगा फिर यहाँ क्या होता है इसके अलावा जो है यू नो दिस प्रिवेंशन ऑफ इरोजन जो इरोजन के प्रॉब्लम होते हैं प्लांट ट्रीज देन यू नो फ्लड कंट्रोल फ्लड एंड ड्रॉट कंट्रोल कई बार पेस्ट कंट्रोल भी होता है ट्रीज एंड प्लांट लाइक आई गिव वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल नीम नीम हैज गॉट पेस्टिसाइड इफेक्ट सो ऑल दीज आर इकोलॉजिकल फंक्शन आई कैन गिव मेनी एग्जाम्पल लाइक यू नो विल कवर इन द क्लास रूम वेटलैंड वेटलैंड प्यूरिफाई वाटर पानी को साफ करता है वाई बिकॉज एक्वाटिक प्लांट्स होते हैं दे आर एबल टू क्लीन द वाटर अगेन दैट इज इकोलॉजिकल फंक्शन राइट अनदर थिंग विच वी कैन से दिस वन एस्थेटिक and recreational values there aesthetic and recreational values who can tell me aesthetic sundarya tha sundar hai na sahi bahut hai na kuch log dekhne mein sundar lagte hain aur kuch log kya hai dekhne mein sundar nahi lagte hain theek hai to wo depend karta hai perception ki aapka perception kya hai kuch logo ko gore log pasand ho jate hain कुछ लोग काले लोग पसंद होते हैं वो डिपेंड करता है परसेप्शन राइट स्किन डजेंट मैटर राइट कलर स्किन डजेंट मैटर दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ देम तो नेचर में भी ऐसा ही है टाइगर में भी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल एनिमल राइट राइनोसर में भी वेरी नो क्यूट एनिमल वैसे क्यूट एनिमल दूसरे दूसरे को क्या होगा बेकार है कैसा देखने में लगता है राइनोसरस राइट एलिफेंट तो दैट एस्थेटिक नेचर इज लिंक विद एनिमल्स एंड प्लांट्स वट इज रिक्रिएशनल tourism tell give you certain examples here let's look at first example is very important literature literature inspired from nature every language whether say hindi or english or urdu or you know, take uh, french spanish even indian language telugu tamil whatever language take sab mein kahin na kahin hota hai na poem short stories होते वहां पर ठीक है अब मुझे बताओ हिंदी कोई बताओ कहानी इन स्टोरी साहित्य हिंदी साहित्य नाउ लेट मी आस्क जो नेचर से जुड़ा हुआ कहानी हो जहा नेचर के बारे में डिस्क्रिप्शन हो मछली जल की रानी है गुड वेरी गुड मछली जल की रानी है जीवन इसका पानी है हाथ लगाओ डर जाएगी बाहर निकालो मर जाएगी सबसे फेमस वहां पर है बचपन से सिखाया था राइम्स मछली को जो है फिर वो भालू वाला भालू को भी सिखाते हैं कि भालू वाला नाच भालू नाच दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ द सो दैट इज व्हाट यू नो बट अगेन स्टोरी इफ यू लुक एट यू कैन थिंक ऑफ स्टोरी देर मे बी सम हिंदी स्टोरी लिंक विथ अच्छा ठीक है मैं एक बता प्रेमचंद की कहानियां कहीं ना कहीं जो ऐसे साहित्यकार होते हैं कहीं ना कहीं नेचर का कुछ पार्ट तो होता है समथिंग दे विल राइट अबाउट दैट महादेवी ब्रह्मा है ना वहां पर भी है उसमें तो यू फाइंड एक इसमें भी बहुत आई डोंट नो हु इज अ पॉइंट बट यू कैन फाइंड आउट खड़ा हिमालय बता रहा जरूर आदि पान किससे वो निराला का है या रामदेव सिंह दिलकर का है बट दैट इज काइंड ऑफ थिंग मैं और बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एक कविता बताता हूँ जो कि नेचर से जुड़ा हुआ है सतपुड़ा के घने जंगल में सतपुड़ा के घने जंगल में कहाँ कौन सा सतपुड़ा की बात हो रही है कहाँ है सतपुड़ा मध्य प्रदेश में and we study in the classroom about biosphere reserve pachmadi there is pachmadi biosphere reserve of hoshangabad uh, area hai wo hai na panchgadi panchmadi jo bolte hain to wahan par kya hai wo satpura ka forest hai satpura tiger reserve and you know that in geography we study satpura and vindhya the two mountain ranges are there out of that hai na kavita hai usme na english you know that like for example jungle book mogli that is inspired from nature तेलुगुरी 
poem, any name you can say, any name you comes to mind, which was studying in school days and something. Huh? He is not able to recollect there. It is in all languages. I am telling you, all languages have got those kind of stories there. So that is where literature gets inspired. Like, you know, Rabindranath Tagore, Bengali. Usme jaise Kabuli wala. No, it's a, it's a very pop, popular story, Kabuli wala. Usme ek aata Gora. Aap dekho, jitne bhi Rabindranath Tagore ke stories hai, very close to nature hai. Wo description aata hai. Hai na, Chokher Bali. All these are... You know, written by Ravindra Tagore there, you'll find that one, right? So any kind of so literature getting inspired from nature, that comes. Then you know this one, today's time this one, cinematography. And what is the time of OTT? It's going on, it's very important. Poacher. Do you know Poacher? Who is it? Poacher? I say Amazon. हाँ Amazon Prime में चल रहा है पोचर पोचर यू नो पोचर इस अ दिस अ वेरी ट्रू स्टोरी अबाउट एलिफेंट पोचिंग इन केरला एंड यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दिस नेम पेरियार पेरियार टाइगर रिजर्व दैट एरिया 2015 केस ऑफ इलीगल हंटिंग और पोचिंग ऑफ एलिफेंट फॉर आइवरी फॉर आइवरी ट्रेड यू आर अवेयर दैट अर्लीयर विरप्पन तमिलनाडु but again, this story of poacher, this web series, that is based on the 2015 Kerala poaching case. That is inspired there. Right? Or but of film, which one? Today's environment film is being made. Pushpa. This is it. Or one thing. Who is this? Why are you dancing? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? चप्पल खुल गया उनका फिर वो चप्पल पहन रहे हैं वहाँ पर अल्लू अर्जुन अल्लू अर्जुन इस दिन फेवरेट स्टार राइट इस फेवरेट स्टार व्हेन द सेकंड सीरीज कमिंग आई एम वेटिंग फॉर दैट उस पर तो अजय मिड समर देव लेलीज दैट नहीं सबसे ही पॉडी ये ऐसा ही है ना ऐसा है अभी तो मेरे दाढ़ी कम हो गए मैं तो बहुत बड़ा दाढ़ी था तो अच्छा खासा वो होता था वहाँ पर राइट तो पुष्पा दैट वेब सीरीज अदर मूवी ओनली बेस्ड ऑन बोट इलीगल हंट रेड सैंडर्स रेड सैंडल बोर्ड वेर वेर इज यू फाइंड विच पार्ट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश रेड तेजसा चलम एंड अगेन आई गिव यू अनदर नेम देस अ प्लेस कॉल्ड नेलोर नेलोर चित्तूर कड़पा कन्नूर एंड दैट एरिया देर द नल्ला मल्ला हिल्स इज देर देर यू हैव दैट फॉरेस्ट रेड सैंडर्स आर this Vidya Balan was the forest officer, Terni. You know this movie, Amazon, I think, Amazon there. That movie is again inspired from a true story, Avni. You know, anybody in the classroom, Avni, you know about Tigress of Yavatmal. Yavatmal is a place in Maharashtra. There's one Tigress man-eater, you know, man-eater, which eat, which attack the humans. So, Avni, uh, she was allowed by the government to kill that uh, tigress. Based on that, the movie has been inspired. Killing of the tigress there. Avni, her actual name Avni is there. But in movie they have given, you know, movie they inspire and but they give other names. So there you'll find Vidya Balan is an Indian Forest Service Officer. In that case, uh, movie has been made. So there are many Iran movies there. Even now recently, Manoj Bajpayee. What is that going on? Uh, Jiram. Joram or Jiram. Jiram is the movie there. हाँ जोरम ना वो जैसा मनोज बाजपेयी इस डी लीड स्टार देर ट्राइबल यू नो ट्राइबल आदिवासी ट्राइबल एंड समथिंग आई गिव अनदर एग्जांपल कंतारा कंतारा इस वेरी गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ इन्वायरमेंट मूवी हाउ इन्वायरमेंट लिंक इन्वायरमेंट एंड डेवलपमेंट कंतारा यू ऑल हैव सीन कंतारा देर समथिंग ऑफ that song, you know, that, that song which they, they decorate uh, and that with uh, Masal, that uh, performing the Devam. Devam is God and the spirit part of it. This is called Thayam. So that is again you will find in that forest. Uh, what is Kantara in Kannada means? Kannada language means mystical forest. This again you will find that. So again nowadays you will find uh, this uh, directors or the movie makers. So they are bringing those kind of uh, natural 
aspect in the part of story writing, script and everything there. So that what comes here. Another thing could be what? I mentioned the same thing here. We can take this tourism also, safari and all this. How many of you have, carried, have gone for safari? Any national park, tiger reserve, to where? Corbett? Abhi Corbett mein both issue hua hai. No, now Jim Corbett, they are getting close there. Any other place? Corbett, she has been to Corbett. Any other place? Kaziranga, okay, good. Orisha, which place? Ajahab. Nee, Bihar mein Valmiki hai. Valmiki tiger reserve. And now, there is only one tiger reserve where people go to safari. Ke liye. That is the part of Champaran. No, Champaran part, they will find that. So, this tourism part also comes in. Next, what comes in? Next will be coming here, this one. I will write four words here. One is this one, spirituality, spiritual. Then we can link with religious. Then cultural. And traditional values. I have written four words here. Spiritual, religious, culture, traditional values. Abhi jo maine bataya wo puli kali. You have seen that photograph puli kali, that dance, tiger dance. So that is the link with, and you know Onam. Onam is a state festival of, you know, Kerala. And what is Kerala called as? God's own country. Hindus, Muslims, Christians. These are three communities there. All celebrate Onam. Waha par wo nahi ki ye dharm hai, ye chiz hai. Bihu. Bihu Asam mein. Tablo celebrate karte hai. When you talk about ecology environment, it is part of every religion of the world. Not only saying India, worldwide all religions have given importance to the nature there. Now this is Parsi log hai, this is a very good example, vulture, carrion world. What is carrion world? Birds which eat the human body, flesh. You know, Parsis have something called power of silence and they feed the dead human body. Carcass, well then carcass, which is eaten to the birds. But what is happening now? Because the, such vultures have been lost, we'll cover in the classroom something called biomagnification. You would have read about diclofenac, painkiller. So now this kind of things are not being observed there. So again that comes here, culture tradition values, right? And the last, uh, I'll write one more area. You can write this part, which is again very important, scientific knowledge. Scientific knowledge that is derived from biodiversity. So let's say, for example, traditional traditional farming method. Can you give me any example of traditional farming system in, of India? Any example? Okay, zoom. Uh, zoom, uh, see, zoom uh, or zooming or shifting cultivation, slice and burn. Yes, that is a traditional farming. But now, nowadays, has created a kind of you know loss of forest area. But tell me any sustainable farming. That means, sir, they do the farming and also conserve biodiversity. In which one? Uh, where it is it done? No, Miyawaki is a Japanese technique. I'm talking Indian one, Indian. Indian traditional farming. Uh, Kerala, koi bol rahe, kaan par There's a place called Kutanad. They're below sea level farming. You know, Kerala is known for backwaters. So in the backwater of Kerala, they do cultivation of rice. Rice require water, paddy, paddy require water. Under the back water, they cultivate the rice. So I'll just, uh, I'll give you the idea here. Uh, once in 2000, see once a question has been asked in the prelims exam about this. This question was asked in prelims uh, 2016. Gears. Now what is gears here? It's called globally important agricultural. Globally important agricultural heritage site. Heritage sites. May have two things add karo current aspects. Ek hai GIHS. See what is what here? Global. Mat important level. Agriculture heritage. See whenever word heritage comes that means old ancient coming for a long time now in india this is a these are declared by fao food and agricultural organization which you know is the un body united nation body food and agricultural organization 
नाउ इन इंडिया में तीन है यहां पर एक दिस वॉट आई मैं कुटानाड कुटानाड यू विल बी अवेयर ऑफ वेरी पॉपुलर प्लेस एल ए पी अलापुरा बोलते हाउस बोर्ड वगैरह होता है ना एल ए पी देर इज कुटानाड देर इज इन केरला देर इज केरला हि कुटानाड नाउ दिस कुटानाड दिस नोन फॉर बिलो सी लेवल फार्मिंग या तीन चीज को ग्रो किया जाता है एक तो राइस एडी हो गया दूसरा है एक्वाकल्चर सी फूड वगैरह जो होता है और तीसरा होता है यू नो दैट वो पाम कोकोनट है ना वो जो नारियल वगैरह के होते हैं तो वो भी ग्रो करते हैं तो यू हैव एक्वाकल्चर देन पैडी कल्टीवेशन एंड देन कोकोनट एंड ऑल दोज पाम ट्रीज इन द सेम लैंडस्केप दे आर डूइंग दैट सेकेंड वन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन कोरापुट वेर इज कोरापुट कोरापुट इज इन ओडिशा राइट इज वन ऑफ द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ ओडिशा एंड अगेन यर लोकल ट्राइब्स ट्राइब्स दे डू द फार्मिंग प्रैक्टिसेस दिस नोट फॉर मिक्स फार्मिंग सिस्टम कोरापुट फार्मिंग सिस्टम जस्ट लाइक यू नो दैट नाव इज साइंटिस्ट आर प्रोमोटिंग मिक्स द फार्मिंग तो मिक्स द ट्रेडिशनल फार्मिंग इज देर दैट मीन सेम प्लॉट ऑफ लैंड दे कल्टिवेट कल्टिवेट वेराइटी ऑफ क्रॉप्स एंड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम थाउजेंड ऑफ इयर्स मिक्स ट्रेडिशनल फार्मिंग सिस्टम एंड द थर्ड वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज दश्मीर ऑल दिज आर विथ के दिज अ सेफरन यू नो सेफरन केसर केसर की खेती कहां होती है कश्मीर में होता है और इसका क्या ट्रेडिशनल वैल्यू मैं टेल यू दैट तो See, saffron cultivation requires a lot of hard work. Actually, it is not a. Is initially the plant is just like flower, like you know, pink color flower and all this. बाद में उसको dry करते हैं, उसको proper prepare किया जाता है. और कश्मीर का ये जो केसर का farming है, उसको करने का जो तरीका है, that is the where the I'll give you a place called Pampor, P A M P O R E. Pampor, Sopor, Pampu, Pampor is a place. So, वहाँ पे क्या है कि women are the are involved in the farming and women hand over that knowledge to the next generation so that is where has been declared as a gihs globally important agriculture heritage system theek hai ek to ye cheez hai jo ki 2016 mein hai ab ek aur area jahan question nahi aaya hai but you can link with the part of it it is and all this one is called bhs i'll be discussing that in the biodiversity class mein hum log padhenge biodiversity heritage site bolte hain एनी आइडिया किसी को पता हो बी एच एस के बारे में करंट अफेयर में कहीं पढ़ाओ बायोडाइवर्सिटी हेरिटेज साइट हेरिटेज साइट बायोसी वन इज दिस वन बाई एफ एओ विच आई गिव थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स फ्रॉम इंडिया अनादर इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी हेरिटेज साइट बी एच एस ये मैं बताऊंगा कल टुमारो विल सी दैट दैट इज अ बेस्ड ऑन एन बी ए देर इज अ बॉडी कॉल एन बी ए नेशनल बायोडाइवर्सिटी अथॉरिटी और इंडिया में बहुत सारा भी डिक्लेयर हो गया है अभी बता रहा हूँ क्यों इंपॉर्टेंट है इसका भी एंगल बता रहा हूँ माजुली अभी है ना अभी चल रहा है न्यूज में ना द पी एम एस गॉन टू माजुली माजुली के बारे में बताओ क्या फिर मैं इसको लिंक करूंगा आइलैंड है ना ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर में वहां पर आइलैंड है माजुली इज ऑल्सो नोन फॉर बायोडाइवर्सिटी ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर वहां के बायोडाइवर्सिटी जो है अब मैं माजुली का लिंक करता हूँ Majuli is BHS, BHS, Biodiversity Heritage Site, right? Let me write. So this is how we have to connect from current. So what is BHS? Those areas which are rich in biodiversity, but they are old. Heritage means old. I know which is very old in, uh, but is known for. Flora and fauna. This is part of it. As I have given that example, one example comes this one, Majuli Island, right? The now the number has gone very uh, big. Number is there. So Majuli is one example. Uh, in Bengal, there is a place called Jhargram. So there is a there is a temple also there, Jhargram. 
वॉज सेक्रेट फॉरेस्ट है देन संगा रेडी डिस्ट्रिक्ट नियर हैदराबाद दे इज अमीनपुर लेक there many are there but few examples i am writing here aminpur lake where is there telangana sangareddy is in telangana so there uh, this uh, aminpur lake has been declared depending on the state like many states uh, now they are declaring that uh, satna satna mein wahan par bhi declare patal court jagah hai wahan pe usko declare kiya gaya ha chilwara mein aur bahut sare jagah jo hai sacred forest hai sacred group bolte hain so they have been declared as a heritage site So I have given just three examples. We'll see further more uh, in our coming classes. So now my question is that: Are you all comfortable? Uh, but did you understand what UPSC is looking for? My main purpose of having the first class telling you all about is that now when you read material, you should ask question. Or नहीं होता है तो उसमें ये करना है कि when you are reading material, do the Google search, some keyword search, trying to get more information on that. ठीक है? तो कल ऑप्शनल है तो कल तो क्लास में कम लोग हो जाएंगे है? नहीं ऑनलाइन तो एक्सेस हो जाएगा बट uh, कितने लोग आते हैं जनरली जिस दिन बैच हो रहा होता है मैं यू आर कमिंग टू द क्लास देयर अच्छा देर आर स्टूडेंट्स देयर ओके हाँ यस डाउट थे यस वेरी गुड वन एनिमल बिहेवियर क्वेश्चन वेरी बिगेज You know this last year was the waggle dance of honey bee. That was asked about orangutan using stick and all this. Indian squirrel question was there. Even earlier, if you go, then question was on um, this one um, ant fungal garden. Animal behavior. What they are doing is that basically this expert who are setting the question are from WWF and all this. So what they are doing is they are taking some something in the news. Like some like you know question corner. You have a Hindu paper question corner, and from there randomly they are picking one or two question from there. Animal behavior. What do you have to do? His question there. When you read about any species in the news, like Malabar civet or any kind of thing, then try to see that it's a biology part of it. Whether uh, what type of behavior they have, and and I'll tell you very honestly, I'll tell you, this all information will not be in books. Will not be in current affairs. You have to do Google search. There's only way out there. So such kind of questions are being asked. Ha, <laughs> वैसा last time पूछा गया था. चार question पूछा गया है वहाँ पर. Animal के base में पूछा है वहाँ पर. तो वही है उनका. मैंने क्या बताया? उनको यही है कि जितने भी popular materials हैं, उनके base में ऐसा करना है कि वो direct question ना पूछे. That's what the thing is there. मैं करवाऊँगा. I'll do that. आई बी डूइंग दैट इन द क्लास रूम हम लोग क्यू में वो करेंगे हम लोग जैसे कि जो जो इंपॉर्टेंट एनिमल्स है इन द न्यूज तो विल सी दैट बिहेवियर देर ऑल दिस वेदर इज नॉक्टर नल वॉट एव है वो सारे हम लोग करेंगे विल डू दैट हाँ बिल्कुल हाँ बिल्कुल एनी डाउट नो डाउट ओके थैंक यू तो विल मीट इन द एनी डाउट इज देर आई एम ह्योर इफ यू एनी डाउट यू कैन आस्क मै हाँ नहीं 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 अलग अलग डिफरेंट टाइप्स मतलब उस जगह पे अगर एक 